you're probably surprised to find yourself within the walls of the White Temple, especially after so many years of imprisonment. Within these walls, a crime has occurred. The Shell of Kingdom has been destroyed, and the magical barrier that protected our lands has fallen. The kingdom has been filled with filth. The White Temple is unable to cope with it. I freed you to make a deal. The blood of demons flows through your veins, the very demons that flooded the kingdom. Your wretched lineage may work to our advantage. Help us stop the decline of the kingdom and you shall be free. This is to ensure you don't forget your place. I believe you are familiar with this item. I return it to you. Heaven tells us to be generous. Only then can we find salvation. Go forth, but remember, we will be watching over you. Welcome to Tranwit's Kingdom Shell. It seems to be an action platformer in the spirit of a Metrovania. Well, 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 what do we have here? It seems like something interesting is unfolding in these lands. Those who are afraid to dirty their hands and trust the fate of the kingdom to a half-blood. Oh, you're quite tense. Allow me to relieve your stress. I'll see you around, Half-Blood. Nectar's maximum stock has been increased. White Rocks. Was there a cat or something that I was about to land on? Press up to interact. I don't know why gold coins fly out of a chest and why there's only five coins in the whole chest. Down A to jump through the platform. I kind of figure something like that, but there doesn't seem to be a wall jump like Ninja Gaiden or Metroid. Or double jump, so I guess we're just proceeding downward. The chest will have to remain tantalizingly out of reach for now. Not sure what any of the point of this stuff is. Wait, so I saw something glimmer, but I think it may be- oh no, it's just wind. I don't think I'm gonna make that jump, nor do I think there's any point to making it, but at least we can find out if there's fall damage slash pit stuff. Okay, the answer is yes. Oh. Press S to it- I mean... Sure. Let's see if he's- Back. Okay. Does he return after getting defeated? No. Traveler, hear us. We are the inhabitants of Pneumonia's Tower, appealing to you for help. Bad people, taking advantage of our moment of weakness, ravaged our tower and stole the source of our knowledge. We sealed the passage, so they couldn't have gone far. Help us. Punish the offenders and return what they stole. These can't be far. Punish them and give us back what they stole. Hold forward while attacking the move towards the target. Q to, oh, I mean, this is my dodge button here. I thought he was going to do, like, some very slow falling, falling down pose. You get Ribbon Fragment. Well, if this one's dead, why didn't he disappear? Am I supposed to maybe do something with these lanterns in the future? Oh, he's back. I guess that's the... A... 
Okay, barrels will stop coins, so they will probably stop something like projectiles as well. Can't dodge in the air. What, why is my character running off? I think it's because I was pressing up while I was running forward to talk to him. So the, the, the game did not know to, to, that I was... Okay, wow. Thank you, Traveler. All your great deeds will forever remain in our annals. And because I went out of the screen, my character died. <laughs> Don't be frightened, Traveler. We expected this to happen. No, I bet you did not. <laughs> our house of memory is shattered. There's still a place for you here. We don't remember their path, but we remember yours. And it unfolds quite differently. In a moment, you will continue your journey, but we are compelled to ask for a small reward. Just a little, but their coins mean nothing to us. What matters is that you're willing to continue your path. Okay, so I got like the cheapest death possible in conversation because of a bug. Not even because I was talking while I was in danger or anything. It's just because I was pressing left and then up. So how much gold do I have left? Inventory. I have 27. I don't know how much I had before I died. Press W to drink nectar and restore life. I pressed the action button just in case. That, that was actually not a cutscene, but yeah, I think that was a scene. No! The abbot said not to touch him. Half-blood, we believe the queen knows the reasons for the invasion. You must find out everything she knows at any cost. The entrance to Top City through the rocks is closed. Perhaps the Queen sealed the passage, fearing an attack. There's another entrance through Nether City, but you can only get there through the Old Witch's Forest. Hurry, Half-Blood. <laughs> Thanks, racist. Yeah, so you guys just walked past that chest, huh? I mean, I did only have one neck. Wait. There was a thing to the left. All right, well, I assume that it, that will lead that way, maybe. Pressing up on that, so it didn't do anything. I didn't necessarily expect that faded out thing to be ground. That's why I make sure to keep jumping forward. Top city is the privilege of the nobility and people with heavy wallets. I can't change the origin, but I know how to fill my wallet with specie. You've got the inspiration, the bounty of the gods. There's a chance to get more coins. Sure. Ask Pneumonia's tower to equip inspiration. I mean, if I die, I guess I'm heading back to the crystal. Was there anything to the bottom left? Okay. 
I'm telling you, that old snake nicked my key. But a wyvern hasn't been seen in these parts for years. By the way, maybe you can open the gates yourself. Hey, Goonies, what are you doing here? We're just gonna assume I don't have a key so I don't have to waste my time jumping all the way down there. I'm gonna assume that's a pit. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, game. And that's the the money I spend to revive. But um, yeah. The the thing is, and, and I assume there's a pit because there's a black shadow there. But the the issue is the game's very first thing you do is fall down several screens, and it's not a unique prospect in that it does ask me to move downward out of the screen from time to time. Unfortunately, it's never I'm never quite sure if I'm supposed to move out. But like I said, you can see a kind of a black gradient down there, which that makes me assume it's all a pit. Didn't necessarily see that bird because I was looking ahead. jump down through that. The issue is, can I jump back up? But I, I mean, I just got paid more money. Yeah, I don't think I can. Uh, let's see. All right, I can. Uh, this is where we landed, then. Yeah, let's try a nectar. Hopefully I get it back when I touch the crystal, but there's no guarantee. It might be a very rare item. Now I'm tired of having to actually run back to pick up the, the coins. Just hand me the coins, game. That's actually kind of what I wanted, because there's an entire path to the left I didn't get. Which is one of the reasons why I hugged the screen to the right when I was first falling. Generally, when you're doing something like falling in a required area, you should attempt to hug one of the sides or the other. I haven't tested it. I don't think there... Yeah, okay. Alright, I wanted to test if I'm dodging, can I do a jump after I finish dodging? Doesn't make sense in a real-world perspective, but sometimes game mechanics don't recognize that you're not on the ground anymore. I doubt I can... Okay, there is nothing to the right anyways.
Apparently I managed to actually accidentally hit the one on the left behind me while swinging. Okay, this is not anything to climb. But I went back because I knew that there was a chain. I just didn't know if it led anywhere. What do you do? Nothing. You just walk up to me. Okay. I was wondering if they were even hostile at all. Let's kill them all. Maybe there's a prize for it. Such as the game insults me or something. Not that I would personally call that a prize, but everybody's currently has a personal beef with your character. map. Doesn't necessarily look like it connects with the area of the bridge. So if we were to fall, that would probably just be damage. Um, I don't know if the mouth would do anything. I haven't checked to the top right of this map, though I don't think there's any way I can actually reach there. So I guess we'll just head to the right instead. Alright, that was easy. I don't think that gray block is one I can land on. We'll try, though. No, it can't be. Unless I get some sort of double jump, I'm not seeing myself landing on the roof of that other building. It looked like there was a nectar or something on it. have a nectar. I just hit the nectar button. Oh man, the, the refilling your your nectars is pretty rare then. That's all he's got for attacks. I assume there's contact damage. Okay. 
Okay, you cannot roll in the middle of a swing. Standing inside them is not a safe spot. And then there is contact damage. Achievement Black Glass. Use magic. Alright, that top left is my mana. It slowly regenerates. I was looking at that thing in the middle of battle. It was like, treasure! Let me think, didn't I do this before? Maybe not. I felt like my character did that during a cutscene. I was wondering if I could skip the animation of the bridge extending by just hitting the button. Let's head upwards first and see if there's anything that we should be paying attention to. Oh, you don't hit it. You you press up on the lever. How much? Okay, still three to kill them. So it does the same damage as my claws. So I really don't need to use my claws any further. I mean, not... Does that actually say anything? Like... It takes a while to regenerate. Do I have to stand absolutely still or, or what? This thing always gives me goosebumps. Silent crystals with dead wishes inside. They've always been here as far back as I can remember. I wonder if they're related to the tower in the sky. What do you think, Half-Blood? You don't talk much, do you? Need Sovereign Seal. We White Rock residents don't favor outsiders, so buy and get lost. Magnet hand. Okay, so this is how we get more nectar. I don't want last chances. Well, let's start with magnet hands. We can actually see the description. Okay, yeah, that's right. Increases attack with low health. I'll go with magnet hands then. Oh, I should have cooked there. According to the map, there's an area below this region. I figured I needed some sort of hammer. I saw the brown thing when I first arrived, but I assumed I needed some sort of hammer for this. I'm glad my hut has become home to the sprout of the Baylar tree. It managed to grow from the outer world through the magic of the shell. Amazing how much power it has. Oh, thank you, Tongue. That goes up. Is that the only way out? Uh, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I can make that jump. Okay. I guess that's sure. I mean, that's not a glitch. The game intends you to do it that way, but still.
Oh, hello there. I'm Jing, the hare who settled in the rocks. Though the rocks aren't the best place for hares, especially in such dangerous times. I really don't want to, but it's time to go back home, to the old witch's forest. Just need to gather more branches and young shoots, and then I'll be on my way. Something's gonna happen to you, isn't it, Jing? Wow. Okay. I was thinking this was gonna be a, a small fight, but there was no music, so I didn't think it was a boss battle. Oh, uh, there goes the coins I, I picked up. Alright, let's try that again. There was a small area to the left. We'll check that out. It's probably still just death. Okay, no, there is something. Death in battle cannot be paid off with a coin, but it can be done with an accurate and prudent blow. Attentiveness. Uh, I've only got room for two things, but we'll probably replace our bounty with that one. I keep heading to the right because I assume I'm in this panel here, but really I'm at the top of, of the screen. Yeah, I can't equip another item, so we'll remove Bounty of the Gods and put in Attentiveness grants a small chance of critical hit. I mean, I'm sure I can just fall, but every one of these vertical areas has had some sort of direction to the left or right already. So there were spikes there that I landed on. Let's try this again. I don't think I can do that jump. Oh, okay.
Not exactly very graceful, but we made it. Uh, so there's going to be a merchant here because of those blue lights for some reason. These guys also die if they land in the spikes. Cool. Wow, I'm trying to hit up. an exciting encounter. I'm always pleased to meet another traveler. Any crisis is a chance that significantly changed one's life. Here I am, too. When the dome disappeared, I immediately decided to embark on a distant journey. The kingdom is full of amazing and mysterious places. And what happens beyond the kingdom? That's something I've yet to find out. Truth be told, I'm just a little short on funds to embark on such a long adventure. So I'd be very grateful if you'd buy this wonderful concoction for me, which I highly recommend for any traveler. And please don't mistake me for having any relation to a Harris family. Because I am a rabbit. I bring luck and sell nectar. Sure. There is no place for nectar. Alright. I assume then he has infinite nectar then. Come on, I'm pressing up. Seriously. Okay, I guess I, that's... So we are allowed to carry one vial is what I'm assuming. I'm, I figure I have to go downward, but I want to see what's to the left. Not a whole lot. Okay. There's got to be a reason for that, so we'll have to kind of bear that in mind for now. All right, and we're back. That's not actually the way I came from. I'm just going to let you know now. That's kind of how I would edit it. So, so it looks more natural if I'm transitioning from left to right. So yeah, let's go ahead and head this direction. I don't know what the glowing purple means. I assumed it meant boss. Maybe it is. Well, thanks, game. There's some after trails that will still hurt you. So what was what I was doing there? Obviously, I wasn't attacking. I was observing the enemy, taking into account his attack patterns and stuff. Wow, this is really far back. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no closer crystal. Where we died was to the far, far to the top right. All right, it's going to be a haul back. We're going to head to the right this time and see if there's anything special. Okay. Oh, I didn't get to see what happened because I was busy evading. Um... You know, let's exit and do this again. I had no idea way I have no way of knowing what it was because I assumed it was hostile. I mean, it's dark red horses. I was rolling because the, the, when the bats were flying out, it was pushing me to the left. I figured maybe rolling might help. I don't think it did. That will need some sort of speed boost, obviously. Let's try that dragon again.
keep hitting the wrong buttons because I'm not really used to a controller. I'm also trying to avoid getting hit by touching him. Crystal Bell. Congratulations! You've slain the old lizard. An extremely rare species, by the way. Don't you think the price for your freedom is too high? Nope, not at all. Oh, dude left. Oh, well, there's a nectar I can just pick up over here, so... I'm assuming the bell is not for the bats, and is instead for the gnomes, or dwarves, or whatever. Well, there are bats in the belfry as a phrase. I really do think it's just for the gnome. Okay. So be it. All right, that more confirms my belief that it's for the gnomes because the game set up an ambush for me here. This should be it, if my memory serves. Use the crystal bell. Gnome's Cave. You've made it to the Gnome's Caves, not bad. Just don't count on a warm welcome. The local sovereign isn't too fond of unwanted guests, and heard he went cuckoo for his wealth. The Gnomes will fiercely guard the treasures of the Mountain King. Well, they don't have much choice. Poor fellows can't disobey the chime of the crystal staff. Lack the will. Ha! Puppets. I'm guessing I'll get something that will tunnel for me and I can use that to Enter the area to the east of those kobolds or whatever they are. up and down on these just in case.
just wanted to verify. Look at my map. Okay, there's still an up, upper area, but that's where the right tunnel probably goes to. Is this anything? No. The map didn't think, tell me it was, but I just wanted to check, just in case. Oh, great Sentinel of the Deep, a stranger from the surface. The caves aren't the safest place for outsiders right now. As it turns out, they aren't for gnomes either. My friend has gone missing. I've been searching for him all day. We set up a tent nearby. Oh, he shouldn't have wandered so far away from it alone. Perhaps it's my fault. I shouldn't have done this to my friend. Can I trust you with the secret? Perhaps a few coins will confirm this. Sure. I see you can be trusted. My friend always carries some rag with him. He tells everyone around that it brings him good luck. Everyone knows it's absolute nonsense. To prove it, I hid that stinky rag from him in our tent. Perhaps he really was upset and went off on his own in search of it. Okay, we'll head back to the tent, but I won't see if this goes anywhere. It did not. Let everyone make fun of me, but I know that this rag warden holds is a real talisman of good luck. If I'm not getting into trouble, it's already a big luck. You got the inspiration lucky. I did it to shake the bats off my tail. I don't think I'll use a nectar right now. If I perish, it's okay. I don't think I can make that jump, can I? Yeah, it looks like I can. I was mashing the jump button so my character made a hop instead. I mean, that makes sense. Normally you press and hold for the higher jumps. Oh yeah, we went left. There's nothing there. I'm taking so much damage is I don't I'm not trying to kill those things in case they are actual citizens of this place but I don't think they are they don't look at all like the gnomes anything that I, I don't think there's anything I can do from this side so we'll keep we'll we'll go back get some healing and then we'll make the jump Oh, right, I can do the lucky thing. Ah, I keep thinking that I'm on the this menu. All right, luck flow. I mean, we'll try that. Don't know what it does. Be funny if it did nothing. That would be the other side of that. I don't believe the Mountain King would go for it. And I always believe that he'd lead our people to ruin. Quiet. You hear that? What should I be hearing? That ringing. What happened to you? In vain you wandered here, traveler. Something sinister is happening in the caves right now. When the dome disappeared, a king got his hands on the source of forbidden magic. A crystal staff, the ring of which subdues our will. 
Strangely, the ringing does not affect all gnomes, but many of my kin have fallen under its influence. I beg of you, Traveler, if you encounter any gnomes who have succumbed to the ringing, do not harm them. Even though they will aggressively defend the Mountain King's domain, they are still my brethren. Okay, so I'm assuming that these uh, tall guys are not, not the gnomes. I mean, yes, I know they don't look like gnomes, but occasionally when a creature has been commanded by darkness, okay, that's nectar, they might take on a different form, like wings or dark shape like that. Now I know I can probably safely defeat those lanky creatures. And the game might not even let me kill the gnomes, for all I know. Why is then there a, uh, this seems ridiculous, but... Okay. I, I, I mean, it, I, I, I had every reason to believe it was a pit. But there was a wooden platform, so I, I didn't understand why the game would deliberately put that there. We shouldn't endure this any longer. The catastrophe exposed problems that had long been hovering in the air of the caves. We can no longer cater to the insatiable appetites of Top City. The Mountain King doesn't hear our cries or help anymore. The clinking of coins has dulled his hearing. And now he has turned the same power they threatened us with when the shell was intact. The will of many of our brethren has fallen under his control. But we, those who have retained our sanity, can no longer tolerate the madness of the Mountain King. We don't need a king. Yes! 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 I remember how it all began when the crystal ringing started spreading everywhere. You couldn't escape it, no matter where you went. It was in your head. But I resisted. Suddenly I stopped hearing it. Ah, but my brother couldn't handle it. I hope he's okay. Gnomes are excellent workers, but not slaves. We've endured for a long time, but it's time to resist the oppressors. It was dreadful. Our crew was testing a new drilling rig, the one with the ruby laser. We were tunneling when we stumbled upon a forbidden gemstone. Black glass somehow ended up in the gnome's caves. We'd never had anything like that before. I begged them not to touch it. It was an unimaginable nightmare. I managed to escape, but everyone else? Gnomes are born from stone and upon death turn into stone. It's said that the Mountain King creates new beings using the crystal staff. Their bodies are made of clay and their will is completely subject to the King's will. What if he decides to replace us with them? The deliveries from the city have stopped. Even before the catastrophe, they were dwindling every day. It no longer resembled trade. It was more like mandatory tribute to the queen, or rather her knights. No one has seen the queen herself in a long time. Oh, hi. I sent some gemstones around here. Some of my relatives succumbed to the ringing of the crystal staff, and now they are not at all up to mining. It's a shame if any of them get hurt. I must admit, I was also not quite myself for a while. But now I just want to do what I love most. Search your gemstones. You know, I can't hear the crystal staff's call at all. It's a lot of panning here.
think I can make that jump. There's a lot to uncover here. Pointless. And I don't think I can pick up these things at all. Because it would be smart, right, to put the barrel on top of it. Characters freaking out there. Ah, I keep bouncing my head on that thing. There we go. Again. Get out! Oh, no, my mistake. There was one here that looked just like you. Stole my loot. And do visit my shop. Maybe there'll be something that catches your eye. What an unpleasant fellow. If I were you, I wouldn't converse with the locals. But what's this? You look paler than usual. Either you need some sunlight, or you have turned pale from his words. I never thought the demon's heart could be touched by the words of a cave ragamuffin. Okay. Careful, stranger. There are dangerous creatures down here. I managed to escape from them, but my brigade remained in that cave. If only someone could help my friends before they become dinner for those critters. Those things are durable. looking at my health bar at the top left trying to see how much health I have. <laughs> I 
I guess I didn't get all of them. Oh man, that means I have to kill all those spiders again. Right? No, okay, they aren't. I just need to search more thoroughly then. Is that all of them this time? Wow, you managed to save all my friends from the clutches of those creepy creatures. Thank you, stranger. Here, I almost forgot. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. How do you almost forget? Oh, just money? Okay, gnome token. Rescue all the gnomes from the spider cave. Stay for a moment. We've restored the halls of memory and we've remembered something important. We'd like to assist you as you once aided us. The Pneumonia's tower exists simultaneously throughout the kingdom. Just under your word and we shall surely transport you to the place marked in our memory of meeting with you. Teleportability is now available in Pneumonia's tower. Excellent. I was waiting for that. Hey Leopold. I'll bring luck and sell nectar. I'll be very happy if you buy something for me. Pretty sure I'm full. Oh, is this another boss then? Oh, wow. I did very badly. I wasn't really expecting anything. I, I still wanted to... I was still waiting for him to do some sort of third attack pattern. Seriously. So I make a save and then... He only had two attack patterns that I saw. The giant bombs and the machine gun blast. Like there, there's a third attack. So it varies. I'll just... I forgot, I already forgot how the bomb worked. Ro you cannot roll through it. <laughs> I mean, no, I wouldn't normally expect you to be able to, but... The tank still does contact damage, apparently. Man, all right. I don't like the tank does contact damage when it's not moving forward. There's a horse move that I was not ready for. Thank you. 
Okay, I wasn't sure if there was a time limit on this, because the laser beam was knocking down the wall. Give this to me. Orb of Wrath. I don't know what the E button actually is. Is it the start button? The Soul Shard grants the ability to dart magic arrows. When I touched the fragment of the black glass, arrows of loneliness pierced my heart. Undoubtedly, the white rocks were to blame. Or perhaps just the consequence of my long imprisonment. In any case, my wish was fulfilled. Orb of Wrath grants the ability to use explosive magic. A trap. Curse them. Why couldn't they leave us alone? I hate them. They took everything dear to me. What can I do back then? This anger from helplessness. It tears me apart. Please take away this anger. Is that the select button, maybe? Nope. Oh, select this automatic map. Start is... Oh, okay. It's the left, left shoulder button for me. Does this refill my mana? Awesome! Okay. The map does not suggest to me that there's any reason to fall down there. Alright, I wonder if this hurts me. Okay, thankfully it does not. Still need to actually pick it up. Okay, I didn't attack it. It just died. In these caves, you can find a lot of things and then trade them for little shiny trinkets. <laughs> now, he doesn't have the old thing that I didn't buy. It was the 290 gold item, something like last chance. Sustainability reduces damage from pits and spikes. Leaf of Dawn increases max life. Treasure key. It opens the gate to the treasure of the Mountain King. Yeah, let's get that. Don't actually have enough money for everything. I mean, I haven't exactly been afraid to die to explore. Uh, that's probably where all my money went. chain I can climb. I probably have to fall and hit that dude just right. It's right between the gears.
And that'll be just as I enter the gap. Oh, okay, this is easier than I thought. I say that as I missed the first shot. I thought I had to shoot it as I was falling. No! I don't even know if I was on the right track with that one. Which way do I need to go? To the right. Now, there's one area. There's a couple areas to the top left I haven't gone to. I guess we could hit those too. Visitor from the surface. Hmm, indeed. I am Jeweler, the finest jeweler in Gnome's Caves, and dare I say, the entire kingdom. If you need to craft or repair a ring, pendant, or perhaps a tiara, I'm at your service. Pendant with black glass? Oh, my lad. You do know that this cursed stone is forbidden in the kingdom, don't you? <laughs> don't fret. Working with prohibited materials isn't new to me. Besides, this pendant is a product of my own hands. Some time back, a lad much like yourself visited me, brought two black glass shards. Hmm, forgive my chattiness. Let's see what can be done with your pendant. Working with black glass involves special risks, so I ask for a special fee. Nice. Attack power and perception have been increased. Here you are again, the lad with the cursed gem. The strange out humans having first banned violate their own prohibitions. Can I call you a human? Like that young man. What's his name? I can't remember. Maybe he didn't introduce himself at all. He just brought two pieces of black glass and asked me to make two pendants. Heh, <laughs> why does it need so many? But it's not the time for chatter. Let's see what else can be done for your pendant. Working with black glass involves special risks, so I ask for a special fee. I don't have another bronze coin. I mean, I assume I don't. Uh, the game doesn't really tell me if I have anything like that. I just have 323 regular coins. Oh, wow, this is a very large room here. And there's a lot of to the left I haven't checked out then. We guess back across. No, I can't go back across. It's a one-way trip. These things give mana. Oh, interesting. I'm trying to climb the ladder so I can get some extra height, but it doesn't look like it.
Okay. Perhaps it's my height. Maybe this one should be empty and this one should have one. Maybe this one should have two. I don't think that's... I'll come back to this at some other point. We have the puzzle room right there. Let's move to the right then. Or just die, sure. Let's teleport to this one. everything to the right that we needed to, so we'll head downward and to the right of the crystal. So, down where we go, I suppose. Great. I happen to go the correct direction, which means I have to backtrack through all of this in order to get the treasure. Of course we want the treasure. things give life back. We'll be going back to that room, so we don't have to work toward the bottom right right now. Someone for a life. I just do it too.
This illusion can cause a lot of trouble, so we need to break through. Hold on tight, Half-Blood. Are your hands always this cold? Hold S to attack. <laughs> okay. We became a shoot 'em up And I totally missed whatever that was. I don't know if it's a power-up or extra life. Oh, it's a power-up. So I missed a power-up. That's not cool. Oh, okay, so getting hurt makes me lose all my power-ups. That's a shame, because I was deliber I deliberately ran into them so I could get the power-up. This is definitely a change of pace. Man, you know what's gonna suck? If I die, I probably have to do the whole thing over. I didn't see the power up till it was too late. That was fun. What's interesting is, who could create such a powerful illusion? Could it be that the Mountain King sought the aid of the very power that he had scared his own people with for centuries? Toying with nightmares to gain even greater power. Moreover, the illusion is not here by chance. With boundless power comes paranoia. The old fool must have thought that the old ways of protecting his treasures were insufficient. You're welcome, by the way. I have a treasury key. What? Yeah. It opens the gate to the treasure of Mountain King. A copper key, brand new in appearance, is curious how such an item ended up in the hands of a simple merchant. It definitely says it's the exact same name, treasure key. I mean, I, I understand that maybe the merchant told me a fake, but I doubt that's it. Whatever game, I guess we'll be back this way some other time.
<laughs> Did you really think the key to the treasure of the Mountain King himself might end up in the hands of some cave ragamuffin? Every inhabitant of the kingdom learns from birth to twist and lie just to survive. You should have figured that out a long time ago. Perhaps you just forgot during all those years of captivity. Have you forgotten how you were treated? Come half blood, I'll show you something. This is not treasure. So I need a new spell for this. The crystal pommel. I keep missing the up command because a lot of times it seems to force me to uh, stay, come, come to a complete standstill. So we have up G, up A. I mean, that's not really what it says, but... I'm sure I, I, I'm sure I could brute force this, but I really don't... You know what? We're doing it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I brute forced this. It looks like OBGA. It might be randomized per game, but there we go. There's seven dials per seven faces per dial that was that was a lot longer than I thought I just assumed it was four faces per dial still pretty bad but we did it I never have to come back here I was hoping for something some sort of ultimate weapon I have actually forgotten what I've been up to now like I don't even remember what's to the left of me I think a door is that right yeah I need an ornate pommel or something and, and uh, there's a door okay wow um, I'm not sure how long that took Let's try venturing all the way to the right. Looks like there's an up above here. Is that it? That can't be, right? No, it shouldn't be. Well, I'll go to the right then.
The damn thing got to me. Brother. Do you understand who it was? See this huge emerald? No one's believe that an evil spirit resides within it. An uninvited guest who mistakenly wandered into the Emerald Hall risks being captured by the spirit and imprisoned in the heart of the Emerald forever. But these are damn superstitions. Scary stories at night. Of course. However, black glass can bring any superstition to life. What are you talking about? There isn't one around here. That's exactly it. Damn. How'd we allow this to happen? For centuries, it protected the kingdom from external evil, but only one mistake has let everything go down the drain. Why was there no security in the White Temple on the night of the invasion? No need to doubt, brother. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Too many coincidences, don't you think? The White Temple has long lost its influence. The church brushes us off like a pesky fly. They have forgotten their purpose, their sacred duty, and now they only serve the interests of Top City. The sovereigns have become deaf to our pleas. Pride, that's who they worship now. The White Temple was the only stronghold between the external evil and the kingdom, but even that stronghold fell with the permission of the kingdom itself. Quiet, brother. If they hear you, they'll consider you a heretic. Let's go instead. The exit from the caves is nearby. The hair family brews excellent nectar in the forest. We need to get you patched up and replenish our supplies. Now I've got some nectar. I hand it over to you, even if you guys are racists. deep. Alright, well, let's head actually back. <laughs> Make sure there's no crystal immediately in this map. No, okay. Let's head back, because I still have not finished exploring the gnome caves. I saw it and I was trying to um, hop off to attack it, but I'm also thinking, I think I'm just mentally fatigued from doing that lock. <laughs> Chest hidden by in the wall. Doesn't look like it. We still have not returned to any place that we are familiar with.
figured one of them might be a nectar. Feels like there should be some sort of treasure in that room. Alright, we have left and right. Guess we'll go left first. Alright, that was pretty simple. I didn't press down or anything. It's just that the, the, uh, the platform is missing where the ladder is. Right, so this is a boss area, maybe? Yes, it is. Okay, maybe it's a mini boss because I don't hear any music. There's no life bar. Use Christabel. Hi, bunny. I expected it to damage me. Something evil has infiltrated the forest and poisons it. Seems the old witch has completely forgotten about us, leaving us unprotected. The kingdom has become a dangerous place. It's getting worse with each passing day. Let's hide together in the deepest cave where no one will find us. But without sunlight in the forest, they're out with their way and turn into a dry leaf. Oh. Let's escape deep into the forest, into its very heart, where evil cannot penetrate. Then without the sound of metal, without the heat of magma, and without our ancestral caves, I will turn into stone. Oh. Then, just as before, we will meet here at the entrance to the gnome's caves. No evil will dare stand against our love, my little flower. I expected the crow to dive bomb them both and kill them. I haven't solved this. I don't know what that is right there. And we have ornate pommel and a door. We'll teleport over here and see what the top left is. I already forgot. It was a long time doing that lock. So if, if it's nothing, then I'm just going to edit this part out. Oh, right. That's what this is. I mean, if I brute force the lock, I could brute force this. Oh, did the thing reset? Yeah, it reset. I don't even know what these things do. It might not even open this. Impulses. 
Oh, okay. I see. I need. I probably just need to fill them all up to the top. So this one does one and four. This one does two and five. Let's do it in different capacities. This one does one and three. This one does two and three. This one does three and five. Let me write this down. I solved it. At least I did solved it in Notepad. One, one, three, one. <laughs> Petrified gnome. Keeping secrets is a heavy burden and I can no longer bear it. I locked myself in this room in the hope that no one would find me. Here is just me and these walls. I hope the walls will be better keepers of the secret than I am. Regular gnomes are prohibited from entering the treasury, but my brother and I have been appointed to keep the secret. He hid in the forest, and I locked myself in here. I know the zero rune, and he knows the number of turns. Yeah, I've already solved it. Oh, owned. I know. I knew, I knew the game was going to give me this later on, but I was there in the treasury, and I wanted to know what was behind the treasury. <laughs> Working with Black last involves special risks, so I ask a special fee. Attack fire and perception have been increased. <laughs> Little round trinkets, they shine. We also have the last chance. Never did figure out what- Oh, I can talk to you now! You want a horse? I and get lost. We'll get the last chance. Right, there's two areas in the white rocks I haven't quite uncovered. So I'd like to move back to the top side and we'll try to get there. You'd think I'd be able to do my cloud friend aerial combat thing here. We're going to mark this with an exclamation mark. I can't label it or anything. Before we leave, I'll try dropping a bomb on that skull. Uh, and we'll do one leap of faith. Nope. To the right we go. Okay, now I need health. Dude, you are lame. First you fly too high out of range for me to do anything.
Okay, I think that's White Rock's pretty much completed. Over here is where the horses were, and I don't think I can do anything about that. Okay, I don't know what this is. I don't remember that, so we'll head in that direction. So, left all the way. Oh, right, a door. Okay, thanks, game. This map should be way more helpful, I'm sorry. Then this is the other thing in White Rock, and I guess that would be it. Oh, just another giant chasm. Okay. Thanks, game. So I suppose we're done with the White Rock area as well. It's time to go to the Witch's Forest. We could go to the Old Deep, but that sounds more dangerous than the Witch's Forest, so we'll head to the forest instead. We'll stay on the top floor this time. Yeah, not exactly a friendly looking forest here. I, I couldn't move once I landed because your character is recoiling from the fall. Wow, what was the clue for that? The flowers? Yeah, well, that didn't help me too much. Only because I don't have a way to go up there. I hope I get like a double jump ability from this area. That'd be sweet. Downward it is. slamming my head into the platform there. All right, this is a path down. Nice. I thought that was a trap, so I jumped right away. Turned out just just butterflies. They probably released little butterflies I could use to jump around the map. No.
Okay. It's not like I can jump while I'm doing this, right? I'm holding... So I don't think I can actually get any more air time. Oh, okay. Well... It may, it may be that I need to get, like, a second dose of fairies. <laughs> Almost. There we go. I have no idea what I did differently, really. Let's see where this goes first. Okay, we were here earlier. So that wasn't that helpful. Now we'll head this way. Good job, me. Didn't know there were spikes down there. Not allowed to look very far on my screen panning. Alright, so now we'll try moving downward just for a change of pace. I can't shoot straight up or anything. It was not expecting my hit to make him not fire. It's good, I just wasn't expecting that kind of reaction. Usually enemies just do whatever they want to do, with, uh, regardless of how you interact with them. Right in the face. All right, let's take a look. Um, okay, now let's try that one. Let's try that section again. Okay, that's not really cool game. It really isn't. Back in this area with pretty much no life again. Because all the monsters just appear out of thin air, even in the middle of your jump. It sucks. Nectar is the essence of life, poured into special bottles. A strong infusion, the very essence of the forest. As long as the forest lives, we brew nectar. Oh, it's cheaper, but I mean, I wouldn't want to... There's no place for nectar. I knew that, but... I wouldn't want to have to run all this way just to get to it again. Well, I mean, I guess I've uncovered... the other entrance of it. I mean, I knew there had to be something for the area, but it wouldn't let me use that pathway before. 
Alright, not that way. Okay, I remember this. Now we're having pedestals with spikes all over the place. I figured since I couldn't jump through the pedestal, um... I figured if I could jump through the pedestal, he couldn't fire through it. Fortunately, my visibility moving downward is just next to nothing. I guess we'll go to... The, uh, you know what, we'll go left. I was thinking if I should finish mapping this one room, but... Okay, that was weird. I need some sort of angular projectile. Unless, unless I'm supposed to bounce off that enemy's shots or something, I doubt it. Quit stalling. For a crime committed against the royal family, and also for crimes against nature itself, I sentence you to death. Halt! We're taking the young man with us. A mongrel from the White Temple tells the Knight of the Royal Order what to do? I understand that the Noble Knight is eager to spill the half-blood right here, in the thicket of the Old Witch's Forest, bypassing all the procedure of the Royal Court. That's right, why all these ceremonies when the foundation of the kingdom cracked at the hands of a jerk? I think the church will be curious about your zeal to dispense justice. <sighs> now I hope this will cool your anger a little, but I can assure you, the demon will face a punishment no less terrible than death. Elias! I hope someone reads this letter before it's too late. I'm stuck in the fiery depths of the gnome's caves and I doubt I can make it out on my own. Just one bottle of nectar could help me continue my journey to the old witch's forest. What is it? What are, are the fiery depths this here? I mean, where? I don't think it would be. I think he would probably say deep caves. This is the only area I haven't mapped, but I remember specifically having trouble finding the ceiling that I could have navigated. Hmm. I don't have anything that really makes me maneuver upwards. I, I I don't. And this would be the path to the library where we did the illusion of the fire. That's the closest thing I can think of. I don't, I don't think that's. All right, you know what? We will teleport. Since it's, since there's a crystal right here and there's a crystal right there, we will teleport just in case this is the fiery depth. I don't think it would be. And I feel like if we wouldn't say Gnome's Caves if it was the old D. So this is where we fought the... I won't jump in case I jump over an event. But this is where we fought the, the floating Burger King head. Alright, nothing here. Okay, we're heading back then. We'll check that area in the top right again. One last time. I mean, this is probably just going to give me another solution to the puzzle I already solved, frankly, but whatever. We'll mess with it a little bit. I 
Okay. I don't see if it resets at all. Okay, yes, it does reset. Okay, let me write this in notepad to figure it out again. One, three, flip this, flip this, and we're out. The music cut out. I don't know if that's a glitch. I think it's a glitch. It's 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 the same error I had earlier when I was playing Rungor. Um yeah, let, let me shoot, okay. Let me see if I can fix this by flipping out the USB. It was a challenging time. We had to sacrifice much just to survive, but everything changed when we sought the Crystal Tower. We could obtain everything we desired. We welcomed the dawn of the kingdom. We got the inspiration, Song of the Dawn. Okay, I hope it's really good. I know I could look at it, but I might as well look at it when I get to a memory crystal. That is everything here, then. Except for the two things in the treasury that I don't have the ornate pommel or a way to get past the door. So unless this dwarf is somewhere in the old deeps, I don't remember anything that looked like fire. And I'm going to assume that... It's not dwarf. Gnome. Um, I'm going to assume that all he's got for me is a solution to the treasury puzzle. So we'll hold off on that gnome until we get to the old deep. But I want to continue working on the Witch's Forest. Alright, let's take a look at what that inspiration was. Incre uh, that's the last chance for sustainability. We have Song of Dawn. Sometimes killed enemies leave a piece of life. Oh, okay. Then we'll teleport over here. Is there anything else I need to do? Is that really the witch's... That's, if that's the house area, then there's an area beneath me. Okay, I can see it now. I don't see a way to get in right now, but I will assume that we can get there later. Okay, is that my power-up? Will that help me past the, uh, the nightmares or the carriage or whatever you want to call it? I don't think the bomb worked, did it? When I threw it last time, it didn't. I don't think it. Maybe I just didn't land on it. Oh, I guess it does work.
I hope I'm glad I didn't hurt the bunny. Thanks. <laughs> Last time? Looks like a bus. Oh, it's not. Why did you dispel my dream? With this dream, I have been hiding from pain. My roots have become food for the parasites. The whole forest is crawling with them. Unbearable pain pierces my roots. Please stop this pain. I see it, the little green, green mushrooms. What did that lever even do? Or was it a chest? I don't re even remember what I went down here for. It was a lever. Did it affect that? I'm gonna go ahead and restart the application just in case the uh well I guess next time we get to a crystal. I think it's mo oh okay, I guess I'm going to a crystal now. I was gonna say I think maybe it's momentum based with the butterflies. Rather than trying to shoot uh swing while I'm on top of the bubble, maybe I just swing as fast as possible and I'll fly faster. All right, we're going to go and save and exit and we'll restart the application. Jump right into that.
need to try to remember to dodge. Okay, this is not one of the areas with the flower at the edge. Alright, looks safe enough to do a jump. In case the need is necessary. No, okay, there is a flower right there. I need to make sure to spam hit it. Hidden above and below it. There we go. It's not even butterflies for this. For that. Oh, it is butterflies for right there. That's going to be a far climb. We are before you, Elias. We are the spirit of the forest. You are in front of us, and we are talking to you. We are life. We are death. We are salvation. We are in danger. Witch. She swore to protect us, but doomed us to death. We gave her a lot. Confidence. Love. Salvation. If this was not enough for her. She's only human after all. Elias. We are cruelty. The time will come and the contract will be terminated. We'll be waiting for you, Elias. That's it? Oh. They called us priestesses and then labeled us witches. Their gratitude turned into threats. We fled from the temple, leaving our former lives behind. We gazed at the sky for so long that we forgot where we came from. Force reminded us of who we are. The best of protection upon us. That's when we formed an alliance. It was the Great Wedding. You got the inspiration tribute to the moon. about
Okay. I have a good sense of her attack pattern now. That one's new. You want to tell me, game? I, I don't know what the exclamation mark is for, but okay. I mean, I've already switched to magic. Pretty generous. Okay. Really should have saved before this, but I guess we made it. Black hair. Thank you for helping me escape from the cage. Searching for new ingredients for the nectar is always risky. Come to the hair shop in the forest. I'm sure you'll find items that will significantly ease your journey. Okay, I would like to save. Or get health, I mean, at least. Okay, let's take a look. So now we can hit a couple of those areas from earlier. But before we do that, let's head southward or downward. Oh, I should have picked up the should have picked up the nectar. It's fine. We'll be able to get it later when we teleport around. Try going to the left. What a charming young man decided to visit an old lady. With such kindness, handsome, I'll show you the knickknacks left by the previous guest. Grants full resistance debuffs? Sure. Song of Sunset, Leaf of Sunset. Unfortunately, I don't have enough for everything yet. I'm not sure what the difference between these two are when you take a look at the heart and the other icon. Increases max ether. So this is probably like a permanent passive thing. Okay, and what is Song of Sunset? Killed enemies leave particles of ether. Oh, I definitely want that. Um, let's head over here then. No such luck on that. Buy Nectar for 25 coins? No, I'm good. Okay, we have this region. But it might just be easier to jump down here and do it that way. Because that's a lot of platforms to go through. Yeah, thanks, game. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going back to the crystal now. 
can get the ether now. For eight coins. Well, it's not terrible. We want this area. Let's try that. Yeah, I knew it was a pit because of the gradient, but I... Oh, there's a thing right here. I used my nectar! I was, I was trying to figure... I was trying to remember what button was switch magic. We need to get out of here. Now! Elias. So the old man didn't cheat. Well, a little more information would have been nice. I'm assuming this leads to a new area. That's the exact pose of, like, evil, deathly, banshee, scary things. Elias. My sweet, sweet Elias. My fallen star. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you. City. Don't know how far it'll be till I could get to a memory crystal. There's one. Okay, we need to go here. Actually, before that, let's hit a couple of the ones in the earlier in the Witch's Forest. Just getting batted around. Keep forgetting that it has spikes now. I'm just okay. That was close. For some reason, I just suddenly get bad at the game. And there's one to the far left. wanted to take the secret away from the gnome caves. It's better to die alone far from home than to face Mountain King's wrath. Regular gnomes are prohibited from entering the treasury, but my brother and I have been appointed to keep the secret. He stayed in the cave and I hid in the forest. I know the number of turns and he knows the zero room. Here, let's check out the bunny. 
The hair family has kept a recipe for nectar for centuries. Three outside, one inside, they search a brew. Red thread. The Millennium Tower recovers nectar. Oh, that's cool. I just don't have any money. Go and buy a regular nectar for now. We're gonna warp to the bottom area. Start exploring things to the left. Did that lever do? And there's also the area to beneath. If I ever say south, it means I mean downward. Redeemed myself. some pretty rock solid tadpole lilies. I expect something to ambush me right there. Dead forest. I think we're going to buy the rabbit's nectar thing, nectar refill. So I'll always have a potion on hand. Here, we're going to work on the old deep area since we finished the witch's forest.
A lot of the game reminds you of Monster Sanctuary. The running pattern, the the map. Hello, I'm sorry, I'm not in the best shape right now. The path to the forest turned out to be more dangerous than I thought. These caves are a real maze. I twisted my paw and now I can't get out of here. Seems I'll meet my end here at the very bottom of the gnome's caves. Phew, thank you. I feel much better now. I can continue on my journey. My brothers will be amazed at what their brew was used for. It looks like it's sort of ghostly ambush or something. <laughs> Very anime. Like the Matrix anime or something. I'm not sure I ever saw. I mean, I think I saw bits and pieces of it. Just contemplating how to get that treasure at the top there. That's why I paused. I think I can even get there. Pretty sure I cannot make that jump. I guess we're done in the deep caves now. We will take the southern area this time. The dead forest, because there wasn't a whole cinematic stuff involved in this area. It probably should be done before the dark castle or whatever it's called. This, that common dude was mega healthy. I need some sort of new jump ability, apparently.
All right. Nothing I can do here. To the nether city we go. <laughs> Bio brat, how dare you go back to the city? Get out of here. Leave him alone, old man. Go back to the camp. Can't wait to go there as soon as possible. Hello, mister. Did my mom send you for me? I don't want to go back to the camp. It's sad there. Dad disappeared three days ago and mom cries all the time. Here I can chat with my new friend. He tells me about a wonderful land where we'll go together. Away from the land of tears. What? No, no, I'll definitely come again. Okay. That seemed like a whole lot of nothing. Very slow paced cutscene as well. Sleep well, my child. Sleep. Let's hope you forget about this nightmare even for a little while. Pale skin, red eyes, pointed ears. I swear I saw him. Be out of your mind. It was your imagination. Those two have been gone for years. The Queen's Knights took care of them long ago. It happened on the day after the catastrophe. My wife. She froze for a moment as if she heard someone. A faint smile appeared on her face and then... Her body started to contort. Her hands began to sprout feathers and soon turned into wings. My wife became one of those creatures. She lunged at me. I barely managed to fend her off and escape. Your wife succumbed to the foulness. The weak will were the first to fall victims to the nightmares. We managed to resist, and the Lord will protect us. You're right. We must bow to the will of the Lord. His will alone determines our fate. Why does no one come to our aid? Where are the Queen Knights when we need them so badly? Don't be so naive. The Knights will prioritize protecting the top city's resident. All we can do is pray and wait, and hope these creatures turn out to be smarter than us and don't venture into the foul sewer. Fall asleep and I'll tell you your favorite tale. Once upon a time, there were two sisters, two girls of unmatched kindness and beauty. One day, they ventured into the fields to gather flowers and chanced upon a fallen star. They'd heard that a star could grant any wish, so they wished to find a love stronger than any in the whole kingdom. The star burst into a brilliant blaze, splitting into two, and by morning, the sisters had given birth to two sons. Ugh. Don't fill the kids' heads with your tales. Everyone knows that the black glass is forbidden, and these crazy sisters just imagined they wanted to find love. Any guy in Nether City would have given them this love, but the sisters were too stuck up for that. It was clear from the start. Witches! This is our new life, and since we can't change anything, all we can do is adapt. The kingdom cares not whether it's people or nightmarish creatures who dwell in it. Our lord says only humans are the heirs of the kingdom. Your words sometimes teem with heresy. That's why you have no friends. My friends were accused of witchcraft by their foolish husbands. They had no choice but to flee into the woods under the protection of the old witch. And you, if it's our lord's will, go and deal with these creatures. The White Temple has a strange idea of justice. Or perhaps after all these years, they start some kind of game. I apologize, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Andreas. I'm a knight, a former knight of the queen. Why have you come here? You're unlikely to meet old acquaintances. They're looking for a way to Top City. Very well, I'll help you. Come to the elevator tower, I'll be waiting for you there. I have many questions for you, but I doubt I'll get answers to them. You 
You see, it's strictly forbidden for Nether City residents to enter this tower. It's the greatest privilege to find oneself in Top City. Keep that in mind. It's best for you to prepare. Who knows what's happening in the tower right now? Be cautious. Ha! Who said there are no social elevators in the kingdom? The residents of Top City don't fancy guests from below. Under different circumstances, you probably wouldn't have been lucky enough to ride this elevator. The path to the stars lies through darkness. Not, not everyone is capable of traversing it. While some bask in starlight by birthright. Wow, it seems someone else got a lucky ticket. We have passengers. City. Well, before we move on, I would like to test one thing. There's probably nothing to it, but I'm going to go ahead and flip that lever for the elevator one more time. And I want to see if I can drop beneath where the elevator was. Okay, the elevator has restored itself. Let's flip the lever and see if I'm allowed to move left or right. Nope. I, I wasn't able to move at, at all during that scene. Okay. Screams are subsiding because many have fallen asleep, but still there is no peace. The night is beautiful. This is not at all what we heard in their screams. Why? Why? It's not fair. So much suffering. We couldn't stand it anymore. You are not someone to talk to. The little girl artwork, especially the attack animation, is pretty cool. I think the little angel thing needs a little bit more flair to it. And I think the music's pretty cool, but what do I know about music? land, so let's try landing centrally. Thanks. <laughs> yep. 
a faded feather. Double jump! Wait, that's a weak jump. Wow, that is weak sauce. All right, all right. But I do not feel much... I mean, I know this will allow me to reach all of the very carefully placed platforms in the game. I get that. It does not feel like a substantial upgrade. Shoot! Alright, to the right. Was there a lever or anything I needed to pull? Yeah. Now that we're healed up. What are you staring at? Wait! Are you really going there? From there it blows evil, can't you feel it? Incredible. Our half-blood has gained the support of someone powerful, it seems. It appears there are far more players in this game than I thought. Well, all the more interesting to watch. Okay. I mean, it's not like that thing gave me any actual actionable power-up that I could use. Hi, Leopold. Well, that was short-lived. I lost 21 coins. Let's make a save, then. Okay, and we are back. So, yeah, I figured that there was some sort of face shield. I assumed I would not be able to hurt it, but I had to at least try. Otherwise, I might just be evading forever, waiting for an opportunity that might never show. I should also be able to at least do some minuscule damage to its neck. Whatever. This is actually easier than some of the other bosses, because all of its attacks are... There's carefully platforms for every attack, essentially. <laughs> Forgot that I have double jump. I don't know if that was the right thing to do, but I, th I thought it was going to drop a key. Oh, no. Thanks. All right, let's head back and get myself a potion then.
I was trying to hug the wall because I thought I, was... I want to get that treasure down there, but let's try falling into it. No, nothing happened. And there was one area like that in the gnome caves, so I might want to head back there at some point. I was hope again hoping to get that treasure. <laughs> All right, before we proceed upwards, let's go back down and then to the right. I can't control which one is the correct path, so... Oh, okay. Always good that we check out this stuff. And also, we cleared the parasite, so we should talk to the tree again. All my experiments with the black glass has been unsuccessful. I sell it for a small fee and I promise to keep quiet. Over rage, magic upgrade. Magic upgrade, dark stuff. Magic upgrade. Okay, so it just makes my attacks better, I suppose? Yeah, I see a little star in the top left. I don't- I assume it's not always been there. I, it's dark, but I assume that is a pit, not a path down. Okay, open my map. Yeah, it doesn't tell me anything, but it doesn't mean that's that's not a secret room. It's the only one we find out.
I doubt there's anything below us, but we should check. Okay, there is a path to the right. Okay, well, before we continue down that way, I suppose we'll just check this since we're already all in. So strange. This pendulum swings, but time in the city seems to have stopped. All the clocks show the same time. The time when... The damn taunt! The devil himself is playing with the kingdom. Many years have passed since those events. Since then, we haven't fully recovered. Why to remind us of this? We must hurry to the palace. I pray that the queen is okay. Yes, we mustn't let the half-demon get there first. I don't understand why the White Temple even asked the Demon Spawn for help. Hey, finally a heal and a save point. Okay. Wow. Well, let's take a look at the barbarism we've accomplished. Barbarism as, as in, there's so much that we've just sort of wandered around willy-nilly. And left a lot of things uncovered. So, what I th think we'll want to do is probably... Go back to left, drop down. I assume this is going to open up this gate here. And then we'll proceed back to the left, all the way up here, and check out these regions that we skipped. Check out there. I guess we'll check out this way then. Since we're already down here.
and drop down through these platforms. In this area, I can see that there's a, this platform or vertical, this shaft should fall into the area where we've met the angel face statue for the first time. And here's where the bird is and the little orb. However, I haven't quite seen how to reach that region. None of these walls, I, it's something I can walk through. I've tried dropping straight down through this. Oh wow, if I hold down long enough, my character looks down. Okay, that's new to this game as a, as a thought, because I've never really needed a duck that for that long. I think that's the way it worked in things like Flashback. I'm not entirely sure, maybe Prince of Persia, those kind of games. But still, looking down into the darkness doesn't help me at all, because I, <laughs> I can't jump down or fall down or anything. I suspect that's what I need to do. We are back in the very large room. The sun rises in the east, a star over my head, above my head. The moon shines so low, you can reach it with your hand. Okay. So, sun, star, moon? What? Oh, okay, I need glass prisms. And I assume that opens this box then? Fine. Greetings. You are the first person I've encountered in this city. I'm a traveler, and I've journeyed here from afar. It seems the kingdom is going through tough times, but I have no desire to engage in local intrigues. I'm interested in games of a different kind. We'd gladly play with you, but there's something missing for my game. You see, while I was wandering these lands, I lost several chess pieces. I would search for them myself, but my horses are tired and can't continue the journey. I want to ask for your help, Wanderer. Find the lost chess pieces, and I promise to play with you. Yeah, gate is now open. <laughs> I like that his horses are the knights from chess. That, that's kind of cool. I do. I, I would assume that it's ridiculous that I find his chess pieces scattered throughout the city that he just arrived in. Unless that's somewhere else in the world. Like other places. Such as White Rock area. Wait, what? Okay, we haven't been that way yet. Okay. While running back to spin my coins, I saw this. Okay, not quite where I was thinking it was going to lead me, but definitely worthy, worthy of part of the video itself. Here's the map so you can track it down. From the first crystal, it's three rooms to the left, then use a bomb above you to the left. We're back here, let's get the last spell. Gonna go get all the items I missed from each of the merchants. Okay, while I was jumping back, I saw this as well. Because it went back just a little bit to... I really want that item. It's just like right there. So, yep, there's another passageway. 
I dream of becoming a knight when I grow up, but to do that I need to train diligently. I heard that the best knights could strike enemies from a distance. Wish I could learn that technique. That'll give my older brother a taste of his own medicine. Okay, this wall looks cracked, but I doubt it will blow up. Oh, okay, it does, but I'm gonna need a key. And it looks like there are bad guys in this part of the city now. Wow, okay, I was not expecting a whole different area here. Man's note. It's good to see the people are still fine. I wondered if they'd be uh, dead or something with all the monsters wandering around. Never will probably get me there. Chess piece. I really don't think I'm going to get anywhere with my little measly double jump, but. Yes, we'll try. Back near the first crystal, we saw a chest that was just a little bit out of reach. This is how you get there. Hug the wall on your way down. Worth 25 coins. Wasn't really expecting to find anything there. Just to sort of headbutt the wall. One of the other chess pieces. So I don't need it to use this platform now that I have double jump. Where we are right now is here. If this is the merchant, two squares above it. Just need to figure out how to get there. So perhaps a double jump. I assume I have to hit that thing over there. It smashes against the wall, so that doesn't work. Okay, it definitely hits a, a rock, so that doesn't work either. We may need to come back with some sort of spell that goes through walls, because this, this does not go through the wall. It smashes against the wall. And I assume this would not blow up in the air. No, that was pointless. Okay, so we'll have to come back for that later. Back at the mailbox, if we look underneath the house, we can see Jane. That's who wanted our nectar in the deep caves. I'm here hiding in the basement. And to get to the basement, it's actually, you have to be positioned exactly over this. Oh, there we go. We're right there. 
this is the limit of the basement. If you are standing here, it does not work. I'm glad to see you're safe and sound. If you don't mind, I'll take this cabin. Yes, it seems a bit run down. With some cleaning up, it'll make a cozy home. By the way, thanks for not leaving me in a bind in the gnome's caves. If it weren't for you, I don't even want to think about it. I paid a visit to my brothers and snagged a little something they hold dear. I think you'll find it more useful. Nectar's maximum stock has been increased. Best friend, help Jing reach for his forest cabin. I can now do have two cap uh, two nectars. This place means a lot to me. It became my home when I was just a little hare. From birth, I never knew love for my kind. They hated me just because I... I wasn't like them. I had no choice but to leave my birthplace. I found this cabin was inhabited by two young men. They weren't like regular folks. I realized they were just like me. Okay. I lived near the cabin, afraid to show myself to those two young men. I thought they might make soup or stew out of me. But while one of them was out hunting, the other would feed me. That's how we lived until the Queen's Knights came. Since then, this cabin has been empty, and I decided to leave this place and go to the rocks. Of course, there's still plenty of work to do here, but I'm glad to be back here. I got more information from that than all the little cutscenes where we were walking around and seeing the brothers. Here's Igura that's right next to this top memory crystal. You've managed to save the old man from suffering. My pain is gone. Please accept this gift. You get the inspiration, Insightful Spirit. My pain has subsided, but the pain of the forest is getting louder. Heaven has gifted us with death. This is the payment of people for their mistakes. We share this debt equally as the treaty dictates. Right, with our double jump, let's see if there's anything we can reach here. I didn't want to jump into the fireball if I was going to land on some platform, which there was not. <coughs> I don't think my double jump is going to do that, but we'll give it a shot. We are done in the deep forest. Chuck of the Deep, which is below the gnome caves. Also, when I refill my nectar at the memory crystal, I know it's a mnemonic tower or whatever it is. Uh, whoops. It only gives me the one nectar. Not quite enough jump for that. I might be able to jump for that.
very Mario Bowser Castle esque. Pathetic worm decided to tempt fate and crawl to a place where even the gnomes do not dare to come anymore. You are insects from the surface. For the sake of your ambitions, you stick your nose in places that it doesn't belong. That petty worm that sometimes creeps into the depth, it lifted from the bottom something that should never have seen the light. He brought trouble from the realm of the sleepings. We are the ancient inhabitants of the deep. Settled here long before the founding of the kingdom. We are compelled to flee in fear deeper under the ground. Maybe I should gobble you up and save this world from another problem, hmm? Go away of here, demon, before I change my mind. Not sure what this is for. Let's take a look at our inventory. Blue thread, uh, we picked up. Fully restores ether. Okay, that's that's what that does. I figured I needed to turn this into somebody. Death bell. Resonating with other bells reveals hidden platforms. A copper bell that sometimes vibrates slightly. No matter how much you shake it, it makes no sound. So do I need like a vibrating control for this or something? I don't have that. All right, resonating with other bells reveals hidden platforms. All right, does this let me see? Okay, interesting. Oh, okay, I get it. Apparently I knocked, I, I revealed red butterflies. That's a thing now. All right. Okay, I didn't know those two were there. I just I just habitually slam into every wall. Now I should really just pick that up after I fill up my nectar. Nectar is only 15 bucks. Check that out in a bit. It looks like, like some sort of penultimate area for where we're headed. Oh, it turns on and off? Okay. I just assumed it was going to ring for a certain amount of time. An empty chest? Well, that one's new. We don't choose our profession. It's fate that has assigned me to be a liquidator. In this part of the caves, we dispose of dangerous items, artifacts, or black glass guarded by knights and delivered to the sorting center. Then we dump all of the stuff into the boiling magnet. 
The work is tough and perilous, but I don't lose heart. They always have a last special concoction with me. One sip and I'm ready to move mountain. Inspiration tonic. Okay. Check out some of these inspirations we picked up. Oh, that's, we got a few. Whoops. We got a few of them. Lesser spirit points to hiding places. Oh, we, we are putting that on. Killed enemies leave particles of ether. Increase the attack at the cost of ether. And melee attack unleashes a cleaving wave at full health. We'll try that just for a second. But that costs us three of our power ups. We can have four total right now. This is the move mountains one. We'll give that just a try. Okay, there. I, I, I was confused which one I had selected. Because I was looking at the wrong part. Okay. Well, it's very, very expensive, so... Small chance, luck flow. Put that on. And we'll change luck flow to... Sometimes enemies leave a piece of life. That's what we'll run with for now. Alright. Guess it's back to the nether city. We'll try up and then left, if that's a thing. Well, it may be a thing, but it's not a thing for us right now. I guess this, and was there anything? Yeah, there was something above here. All right, well, that simplifies our choices then. Oh, I guess we needed that bell after all. I really didn't know we needed it. Oh, that's not, that's not creepy at all. Yeah, I kind of figured it'd be something like that. And also, oh, yeah, it's not actually a path, it's just... I probably don't have to bash my head into walls anymore. Assume I keep that thing equipped, which I will. That means more to me than Lucky Flow. I mean, if, if I knew what Lucky Flow did, then maybe I might change my mind, but I kind of assume it does next to nothing. Okay. I understand it's supposed to be dramatic and stuff, but it means nothing to me. Basically, when you present information that that is ambiguous, yes, I can attempt to extrapolate from that, but realistically, all you're doing is trying to play guesswork where you're letting the player create your fiction or backstory for you. Like, is that supposed to be our main character? Probably not, considering the hair was different and it looked like he had a beard, but it might have been a shadow. The only reason I might I might assume it could be the main character is because there, there was that one random chick that said that she'll she'll uh, wait for us or something like that.
Oh yeah, I don't need to do that anymore. I, it should, I, I, whatever I have should tell me when I have a a secret area near us. Oh, okay. I get it now. We'll see if there's a safe crystal near here. Guess not. Alright. Okay, we are gonna do this then. So, so I did notice that we could ring the bell m multiple times. Come on! I thought it was gonna get a melee power up! Hostile? Yes. Save. Yeah, that's what I thought. Incredible. In a moment of trouble, the White Temple decided on intrigues. For many years, I served the kingdom and the royal family. The palace fell under the onslaught of nightmares, but I still remained the defender of the queen. Who are you, young man? A pawn in the hand of the White Temple? Or do you follow your own path? I don't get it. Is this supposed to be Andres? You let me in. In such difficult times, we all deserve a little justice. Back in the forest, I couldn't do anything, but now I can redeem myself before you. I will allow you to pass. Perhaps within the palace, you will find your doom. 
Maybe for you, it's the only way to find peace. Well, yeah, I kind of figured you were one of the knights. You had the whole body armor. Yeah, you're Andre. I don't, I don't get this. Why are you surprised that I am here in the top city? I don't get this. I'm no longer a knight for a long time, but I continue to protect the inhabitants of Kingdom. Injustice is always done by the human hands, but to stop injustice, it's not necessary to wear the armor of a knight. I really think that that could be uh, retooled to look or sound cooler. Besides, armor quickly becomes covered with blood of innocence. Do you have anything else to say? No. Royal Palace. Um, I mean, the fairy told me there's a secret. Ooh. Okay, well, let's get some more health. That was simple enough. Thank you for helping me escape from the cage. Searching for new ingredients for the nectar is always risky. Come to the hair shop in the forest. I'm sure you'll find items that'll significantly ease your journey. We're doing that right now. I have lots of gold and... Might as well spin it now before it disappears. The Hare family has kept the recipe for nectar for centuries. Three outside, one inside. They search, I brew. Last made of ebony. Nectar recovers more health. He currently recovers about like four pips. So I guess that'll give me full health at this point. And it's okay. I mean, I was hoping for something a little more awesome. It's nice. It's just like not as game changing as say the one that restore gives me nectar just for touching the crystal. Or I don't remember if there are other rose areas, so I'm gonna go check for all of them. Oh, apparently I can go left. I don't think I'll make that jump. Okay. And a puzzle key. Now I keep expecting mini bosses with all these set pieces.
Here's one. Not quite what I need. Not quite the performance I needed there. Interesting. Alright. Let me think here. Okay. Now that I know what's actually happening, let's try this. The hulking figure loomed over me, dark and menacing. With a sudden precise strike, he collapsed unconscious. You got the inspiration, accurate hit. There were some areas here, here, and here that we should check out. I try not to look at the map a lot while playing because then it slows down the gameplay footage significantly. Top right of here is something. Oh, that's where the dude fell. Okay. We didn't check this. We didn't check this area at all. Waiting for the rose to fully dissipate in case, in case it's a trigger. And here's the balcony where the dude jumped off. Like, the game wants to keep things a mystery from us. Like, we only recently learned what our character's name was. If you're gonna do that, don't expect me to be involved with the storyline here. Okay. I mean, I did need a moon piece, but that doesn't seem to be something I can interact with. We are back in the Royal Palace. Forget you, dude. Nice. Oh, I can't even see that. Oh, I don't feel like dealing with this. I'll give it one shot. I mean, this looks like you should try to memorize the pattern, but it looks like there's three different sets of blocks. This is bull... This, you know... Alright, I, I promised one shot, but I don't expect much. Thank you. 
Okay, that was just... Whatever game. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that one. directly in my way. Oh, I'm, I'm confused, apparently. Uh, my controls are backwards, I think. Wow. I just ate a bunch of damage on that. Let's drink this nectar. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I'm just still distracted by the fact of the, the, that, that crazy spike trap. I mean, that was, that was, that was nonsense. Trying to figure out what the attacks they have, but if all they do is hop, I guess they're not that threatening. <laughs> okay. Assuming that right there is the, the where the fair was trying to tell me to go. I don't know. I'm, I'm mashing, jumping, and trying to figure out. Okay, somehow I ended up on the right. I guess I must have been above it. Look, I'm just thankful that the game didn't have like a sort of drop shaft that made me miss the the life plant. But that whole section was was ridiculous. Okay, let's take a look at the map because I've been wandering around in circles. I mean, it's it's not that I have um, been lost, but <laughs> I want to make sure that viewers also happen to know where I am.
Okay, we are back in this room. Man, I'm gonna get killed by these chess pieces. Watch, there be a crystal right around the corner here. I wondered if it would go back. That's why I went across the ladder slowly to see if it would trigger the return. I'm pretty sure that was not a passage, so I might as well not even bother trying to jump that. Okay. Alright. Ah, I see. Okay, that leads back to the crystal. The precedent for that would be the white rock right above the first crystal. You can create a set of platforms that transcend two screens. Likely it's a section on the top right, but I don't have a... I don't think I can make that jump. Since the screen pans up, I guess there's a lot more to it. Okay. I didn't realize the chandelier was something I could land on. I was just I figured I was just gonna jump down and land in a banquet hall. Okay. I actually need to be conscious of not Alright. Well Okay, not what I expected. Nice. Oh, somehow the mir miraculously the chandelier just restored itself. Trying to make the chandelier swing further to the right, but I don't think that's really contributing much. 
running doesn't really swing it either. Okay, this time it stayed. Whatever, it's a ghost mansion. Don't really expect much sense from things. Trying to jump down here. Did you hear this roar? The poor baby sleeping in the next room must have been frightened. But the baby is not there. The crib has been empty for many years. The queen lost her little daughter the same night she lost her husband. What? How could this happen? They say the little princess was kidnapped. Who could have committed such an atrocity? queen do to deserve such grief? Oh my dear, all services have their price. Okay. I mean, alright. Let's take a look at the map. We've uncovered most of this area. I guess something waits us to the left. No! No! Alright, I'm fine. It's a gauntlet. Alright, geez. I guess we're fighting everybody. I didn't get the red thing in time. I was trying to get rid of this one goon that was in my way. On game. Not sure what the pet is. It like always low than high ball, low than high ball. I'm not quite sure. I need a crystal! I need a crystal game! Ah, good. I don't, I don't think I ever found the secret... What was the secret in the chandelier room? Oh, this was... I don't know. Okay, this is where we're headed last. Let's check out the rest of the castle first. Okay. Need the rose key. Fine. That was that was helpful. Okay, the chandelier room supposedly had a secret in it, but I didn't find it. So I guess we head back. Yeah, she still says there's a secret. Let's try hugging the right. The 
familiar taste. Okay. Did that actually give me life or anything? I, I mean, like, max life, not temporary life. All right, we are back in the tower. I always want to talk to Leopold, even though he's never said anything new. You never know. We know it's not going to be that easy. It's a boss room. Oh man, I wanted to use that sword. Come on. All right. Yeah, I guess we've seen everything we need to see. She, she contact damaged me when she crouched to jump. Of course, there was nothing to be said of the fact that we both missed each other completely. Okay. Well, that's not very nice. I guess she's entered overdrive mode. It's technically what people would generally call their boss's second phase, but overdrive just sounds cooler. Oh! Okay, that 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 makes things a lot easier. I mean, I, I get the feeling she was the victim in all of this. In times of greatest calamity, any death gets lost in the darkness. But the death of our beloved queen will forever remain a gaping wound in our hearts. The tears of the entire kingdom won't suffice to mourn this loss. Oh, poor child. How do you bear this burden? The heavens will not forgive you. Dare I? We will all stand trial. I will find words before the Almighty. We've gone too far, and it would be a mistake to deprive the kingdom of hope. The sovereigns know how to lead us out of the darkness, but they've forgotten. Our goal is to remind them. That key. Use it. At the very top of the Tower of Rose, hope for salvation is kept.
I get that Leopold has to move on, but it would be nice to restock a Nectar before he does. It is so quiet. Silence. That's what's left of that night. Silence. Silence. We've all been bound in secrecy, even though we're forbidden to speak. It is forbidden. We had so much fun with our princess. And how much more could there be? But something eerie ruined our fun. The devil itself made his way here and took our princess that night. Our princess. Out of fear, we forgot how to move. Silence became the punishment for our cowardice. But what can toys do? We can only forever keep others' secrets. Forever keep secrets. We are doomed to be children forever, and children are always at the mercy of adults. I want to get out of here, but for that I need to grow up. Do you want to play a real adult game with me? If you give me some coins, I'll tell you a secret. That's an adult game, huh? It's so... an adult way. Is that like a percentage of my money? Because that's a very unusual number, but it could just be four, five, six as a order. Whatever, we're paying it. But that's a lot of money. I don't like it. Wow, this is real money. Now listen. The young maiden who was born under the sign of Pisces keeps a gift from her lover in her house. Kneel under the symbol that reminds of her and take the treasure. Huh, because she doesn't need it anymore. Secret of the Toy Hedgehog. I don't know where this is. I don't even know what the sign of Pisces is. I'm gonna end up walking the entire map. I'm telling you that right now. That's what I'm gonna end up doing. Let me let me go to a teleporter and then we'll look up what a Pisces sign is. Okay, I looked it up. It looks kind of like an H. I don't recall seeing anything that looked like that. I'm sure there are. I noticed on the map that I hadn't explored the top left of this room. Priestess' secret. I assume it's not the thing I was looking for. Character was stunned from falling. That's why I tried to jump over them instead of roll through them. Okay, um, the area to the top. Let's check out these. And then this. I, I, I think this is what I confused the rose key for. Was it? I don't even remember if it really was the rose key. Let's head upwards, though. Yeah, I don't remember anything that looked like an H. This is something I can't make the jump for. That need prize a puzzle key. Come to your senses, brother! Help me! We must protect the kingdom from this evil! An evil? What do you know about evil? Brother! Just in time. I see you can fend for yourself now, Elias. And even trying to protect others. Commendable. They are not even worth those your pathetic attempts. It's better to go for a walk together to the Tower of Roses. When will we get another chance like this? Catch up. I 
feel like something might have been lost in translation there. This should help for a while. We need to find a safe place to heal the wounds. All the brothers from the White Temple have fallen. Why isn't the church sending help? Where is the Order of Knights when we need it so much? Where is everyone? Is this really the end? Yeah, I knew these had to be boss locations. Ah! Shoot! Wow, I got owned on that one. I, I get the feeling that she was- even though she takes place later than the Queen, I bet you the Queen is tougher than this boss who whooped me. Hold on, let's change our inspirations just so we can look cool. Grants a critical hit chance. We're not gonna need that for this boss fight, but we're gonna get the falling one. Reduces damage from pits and spikes. We're not gonna need sometimes Dawn, we're not need that either. What are the odds I'm gonna stay at full health? I'm not sure. Plus she's generally pretty close to me, so it might might not be necessary. We have we have two slots anyways, as long as I keep this critical hit one. Attack with low health, grants a critical hit. I guess we'll just do that one. Let me run off and buy a nectar first. Okay, we're back with our double dose of nectar. Let's give this a shot. I guess the brothers are okay because they're not here anymore. Even though this is my second round with her, I didn't really get a chance to observe her, her actions the first time because I, I just died so quick. Second round. The night in Top City is beautiful. It's nothing like how it was in Nether City. How I dreamed about this. Both of us dreamt about it. I searched for you for many years, Elias. And when I was almost desperate in my search, that old man appeared and said he would help bring you back. He kept his word. He helped me find power. Do you remember those stones? The black glass. Now I have enough power to stand up for myself and even plunge the kingdom into chaos. Forgive me, Elias. I had to do it. Yeah, I was gonna say, it doesn't make any sense to bring the character back just to shoot him here, but... <laughs> Open up this other side too. Oh, it's already gone. And we'll equip the proper inspirations. Black claw. Well, maybe not. Enemies give life. 
And one more with the lesser spirit, that's right. Okay. Oh. That's not fair, game. I had no idea what was going on. And 41 gold, gone like that. So am I supposed to race to the top or something? It's not even the gold that I care about. It's it was actually the the sheer disrespect. So I, I mean, there was absolutely no warning or anything. Okay, hold on. I mean, there was a warning. There's a giant thudding, but realistically, that's that's like the onset of a lot of boss battles. And getting the chests is an awful idea, but I want to just finish, max out everything. So that's 48 gold that I get. So if I die, I will have paid the chest off. Okay. Let's change some of my inspirations for this one. Let's see here. We probably don't need that. We might need the coin attraction. I don't know if that will help me break doors. Take that. So small chance critical. I'm not really sure that really helps with stuff like doors. All right, we'll, we'll go with this. So we'll, we'll have sustainability, reduces damage from pits and spikes, and increases attack at the cost of either. Okay, and the doors are gone for good. That's, that's good. All right, so this one should be the, the one. What happens if I go back down? It's clear. So, so I guess you should just go through it and then get the treasure chest if you care. But I wonder if I can get the treasure... Hold on. You know, I, I, I am dissatisfied with that first death that we had. Let's try it. I'm just curious. Can I get all the treasure chests? Now that I know what I'm doing, can I get all the treasure chests in one go? So that may have been a huge mistake to do this over. I may, maybe I'll never make it again, but um, I just want to try. I want to make it a challenge. So, let's see here. We probably won't need that. Won't need that. Maybe the critical hit? We want sustainability. Increase the attack with low health? Yeah, maybe. I don't feel like the tonic broke the door. And maybe there was critical hit happening on, on the doors themselves. I feel like there's just not enough points to, to equip these these inspirations. You have so many inspirations, but because of the very, very limited point buy system, you don't really get to play with them much. You'll probably find a solid few that you like and stay with them. All right, that does not break doors down at all.
Boom! Get the shard or the seal. Behold, it is our key to salvation. Three parts becoming one will reveal the path to the heavens. The wicked one shall lead us to salvation, for he is guided by the Almighty himself. You have done excellently, my boy, but we still require two more fragments. The sovereigns keep them with themselves. It's time to remind them of their duty to the kingdom. You should persuade them to give up the fragments. Only in them lies our salvation. Okay, why don't you do it? Okay, I don't think the tower was shaped that way, but whatever, you do you, game. Alright, so it looks like if you did skip out on the chest, you would never be able to pick them up. Not that it matters, I mean, it's worth one life. Okay, uh, what- where- where to now? Oh, there's doors to the left and right, I didn't even see those. Dead man. This tower is my gift to the queen. It is here that I met my death. The king's jealousy destroyed me. I was one of the few who managed to get out of the slums of Nether City. My ascent was swift, but I never forget my origins. They never let me forget about it. Therefore, I left a gift for my people. A ladder to the stars. The secret passage is not controlled by Top City, and anyone can use it. I am confident that there in Nether City will be another dreamer like me who can find my gift. Dead man's note. Ah, I remember that. It was a kind of a lock. It looked like a combination lock mechanism. All right, let's head back and check that out right away. Generally, things like that, the off the beaten path, requires instruments and stuff that doesn't seem like it's part of the main storyline. It's going to get you weapons and power up, so we want that. Dead man's note, shining with metal, piercing through darkness, through fragrance, and without slumbering in the garden, we sought majesty, yet found oblivion. Okay, shining with metal. I'm assuming this is my clue. So shining with metal, through fragrance, without slumbering, majesty, oblivion. So shining is probably like a sun or something. Okay, fine, we'll pick that. Um, slumbering. I, I, I don't know. Um, Majesty and Oblivion is probably the Reaper. Okay, I don't... Oh, Garden. Garden is probably the Rose. Alright, it's none of those. Unless, unless it doesn't click open immediately. Okay, Shining with Metal. Okay, that's probably Reaper. And then Rose. And then crown and oblivion. Okay. Reaper. Rose. Was it Reaper? Shining with metal in the dark. Okay, sword. That's metal in the darkness. Okay, I actually it didn't go through. You have to press the action button. Let's go ahead and re-equip my fairy. Lesser spirit. Sometimes enemies leave life and small chance of critical hit. I'm assuming it's on the other side of the river, just in case. Okay, apparently that knocked down a ladder. I mean, I saw some sort of hook there, but okay. Sure. Ah, I always, every now and then, I, I completely forget how to play the game. I think it's because I'm just not used to a controller in the slightest, which is what I'm playing the game on. Because the keyboard control scheme is bonkers. Like, A is the action button. 
space right enter don't do anything? I don't know. This this stage kind of reminds me of my friend Pedro. I was trying to- I was mashing left while swinging, but my character just would not turn. Yeah, this- this round reminds you of my friend Pedro, in that you have to follow a rap. Sorry, it's really difficult for me to talk right now. I have a full no damage playthrough of it, which took a lot of time to pull off, and I'm particularly proud of how I did it. And keeping the combo meter full, by the way, as often as I could. It, it would be easy, it would actually be very simple to, to do no damage without worrying about the combo meter. But I wanted to make the video as awesome as possible, so... If you like this kind of gameplay right here, kind of a high-octane action platformer experience, definitely be sure to check out my friend Pager on this channel. Oh wow, I made okay, I guess I made it. We are saving. I'm assuming to the right is the boss. Generally it shows a purple field. I figured it might be a nectar, because generally there's extra nectar near the boss to replenish you. I wanted to check, because it might be a tool I could use to fight the boss. Cat? No! Oh, okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, that was cheap. I'll try- I'll try again. That was- that was mega cheap. None of that has actually done damage to the boss. This is... okay, fine, game. I, I know for sure I've been targeting that center mass, but I guess I can't target it here.
I didn't like that boss. I don't think anybody likes a boss where it has long invincibility phases, such as you have to fight minions before you're allowed to hurt the bad guy again. Things like that. I want to make sure I can't talk to this person. Oh, I can. Why are you here? Get out. Go away. Leave me alone. This is unbearable. I went to sleep so much, but I can't fall asleep. It's unfair. We gave you everything, and you thanked us with suffering. Yeah, there's not even an up arrow for this. So this is probably the secret. Yeah. You're one of us. If I give you something, will you leave me alone? Yeah, peace. Chess piece, cool. You can do the same thing with up. You who caused such a commotion in my cellar, if you wanted to enter, you could have just used the main entrance. I hope you're not one of those demons lurking on the streets. If not, then I welcome guests. My husband disappeared right from the beginning of this nightmare. The maid servants vanished too. And here I am, all alone with my wine. You don't look like a resident of Top City. You're a traveler, I suppose. I've never had the chance to leave Top City. I've been like a bird in a gilded cage my whole life. But I've always longed to see the kingdom. I've heard there, in the White Rocks. Well, never mind. If you want to hear the rest, pay me. You see, bills won't pay themselves, and without a husband, I have to think about earning a living. Sure, what are you going to spend the money on? I mean, a poop. Is there, is there a merchant that you see? My first earnings. To hell with my husband. <laughs> ah, yes, my story. In the white rocks, there is a carved face with its gaze directed into the distance. Just stand and look along with it, and in the end, you will see the path. That's the legend that goes around. Hmm. I wish I could go on a search for that place. Well, all I can do is sit at home and drink. You want to come with me? I know where that is. The previous owner of this house was a famous architect. After they executed him, we bought this house for a pittance. But you know, strange things have always happened in this area. They say the architect had hid a fragment of the black glass somewhere here. Maybe it's a good thing he was executed. I talk too much. The wine speaks for me. What else is there for me to do? This unease, it creeps into your mind like a timid guest. Then that guest becomes the full-fledged master taking over all your thoughts and turning into endless fear. But I'll drown that... in wine. So you go around filling up all these lanterns too, because that's going to be a full-time job. Okay, we are going to immediately go to... that white rock face, because I have thought about that for some time now. And I run off doing these side trips often because I want power. I wonder if you can do this without having the secret. Our rebellion has failed. We couldn't destroy the shell, only chip off a small piece. Many of my brethren perished for this fragment. Many were tortured and then killed. The instigator remained undisclosed. I only know that his position within the White Temple has solidified. Was this piece worth so many losses? Who am I to judge? At the very least, the kingdom is in turmoil due to the emergence of the black glass on its expanse. The barrier is now permeable for the Heavenly Tower. To the left was a section of the map that I have not uncovered and I can't reach any of those platforms so we'll need an additional traversal mechanic. If this kind of stuff also interests you, the way we're moving about, I did mention Monster Sanctuary earlier. That's basically a Pokemon meets Metroidvania kind of game. If you are curious about that, there's a full playthrough of where I completely dominate the game.
Give me that mana. Extinguish Lantern. Press RB in the air to dash. Alright, finally. Very, very anime-ish. Also, it reminds me of the scene in Airbusters, which is a shoot 'em up. Oh no! I wasn't even watching my health. Do I, I, I do I still have my air dash? Yeah. Okay. You know, we're gonna go wander the world and go collect stuff that I can only get with the air dash. Yeah, that's just that's where we were at the boss, okay. You're new. No. I'm so tired. Tears are all I have left. The potion the queen gave me. I did everything as she commanded. I added this potion to the king's wine goblet. How could I have done this? But could I have done it any differently? Who would dare to go against the queen? I knew it was poison, but the poison turned out to be of a different kind. The king went mad and killed my mistress. Forgive me, my baroness. I don't know who I am now, just a memory, a ghost destined to relive that fateful day forever. Sorrow is all I have left. I'm so tired. Punishment. I thought you would turn into some sort of ghastly creature, not to, not to attack us, but for a tip that is scare. So this is the princess's bedroom. He entered my life unexpectedly. Passion teetering on the brink of exposure. Could it have lasted forever? We so desired to hold on to time. But time, like love, is beyond even the king's control. You got the inspiration, Passion. We are right here. If you consider the... The... The royal palace right here. The first memory crystal of the royal palace. We're just a little bit below that. In front of this giant T. In case you're also following along and you want the treasure. We are now here above the crystal in Top City. One of the mini crystals. This this right here would be, to put it in perspective, is the giant hand tower. Yeah. 
Uh, so just so you know, you don't get another dash when you hit the yellow butterfly. I, I assumed I would be able to dash again. That's not a thing. That was not... Okay. Well, I guess we're drinking a potion. But when you're not faking me out, the, the, the jump puzzles are interesting. I want to see, okay, all right. I'm getting an idea of where all the, what do you call it? The, what, what the ravens do, since there's no necessarily a clue. It's good to know where they are beforehand. It would also help if I could remember my button presses. <laughs> I, when I'm when I'm doing it reflexively, I'm able to do it. But when I'm trying to plan out my moves ahead of time, I forget what buttons what because I'm just not used to a controller. Okay. Thanks, game. What am I supposed to do about this? How am I supposed... Alright, maybe... Alright, all right, all right, let me try attacking faster. Whatever. Um, the, the butterfly mechanics is just a little bit weird because you it's it's not based off of shooting you at a certain height after you hit it. It's carries your momentum. Which is a, a first for me as far as gameplay experiences go. Okay. Thanks, game. Ah. All right. No! Oh, come on! I gotta do all of that over now, but at least... Alright. We're fine. Um, let's get the... Let's get the... Now that I know it's a huge jumping puzzle over there, let's go ahead and get... Sustainability. Anything else? Not really. It might help to also get a, another dose of nectar, so we'll be right back with one of those. I, I do think it's good that I include I have footage of me failing from time to time because uh, I kind of alluded to it earlier but I get a lot of nasty comments sometimes when I'm doing well at games just accusations of cheating left and right I, I look I've, I've been given the average age of people who watch on YouTube I have been playing for probably like playing games for like two to three times that person's lifespan it would make sense, would it not, that if a person has only been playing games for 10 years, that someone who's played games for 20 or 30 would be better than that? It's generally difficult for people to imagine that someone could be better than them at something. It, it, I, that's not me being trying to be mean or sassy. It actually is difficult for people to, to understand that because your realm of perception, your, your understanding of the world around you is limited by your experiences. 
That's why, for example, kids may feel that they're invincible. But I still leave up all those negative comments on my video because I don't want to censor them. I just, I just let it be. Having, having failures in my videos, I think, helps protect me from, from that kind of... Not, I don't know if bullying is the right word. Oh, jeez, come on. I'm too busy yapping and not concentrating. Is it, is it the bird? Yeah, it's the bird, because there's a... There's a bell right here, that's right. I'll go ahead and hit the bell at least. I don't know if that worked because I just hit both bells. Apparently did not, which is kind of cool. I like that. I mean, it would have screwed me over if I had made the jump, but I, I like the fact that both bells took effect. I do not like this butterfly mechanic, though. I really don't. Like, I feel like I'm doing pretty much the same thing each time. <laughs> I'm just swinging wildly. Maybe it's a, a just a freak, freak hit that I happen to hit them at the right timing or what, but I don't know. Nope. I fat fingered uh, my my jump and attack command there. Oh, I don't know if fat finger is the right word for it. It's 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 a term you or I'm looking for whichever word is used when you I guess spaz out. No, oh, too busy talking. <laughs> it's when you spaz out at the moment of right. It's not I guess freeze maybe. Nope. Well, maybe it's something I needed to do. It didn't work out anyways. Alright, at this point we'll go ahead and take a nectar. And try that again. Good job, me. Man, I'm just failing so hard at this one. Concentrate. And there we go. Got the puzzle key! Yay! That's the thing I've been looking for forever. Why do I need to confirm? Is this an actual puzzle? I'm not pressing anything, it's just rotating on its own. Okay, so I just have to press the button every time it hums? No offense, that's a little obnoxious, but... I mean, okay. Let's take a look. Where, where else did we have puzzle keys? I mean, I don't quite remember where all of them were, but I did mark some of them, such as here, right where the elevator is. We'll check all the, the dead end paths, such as like this one. This is near the beginning of the game. That was a puzzle door right there. I think this one's an air dash door, so we'll keep hitting these other areas. I don't have any control over this, aside from hitting the confirm button when it 
shifts and hums. I suppose it must feel strange for you to be on this side of the bars. Why Tipa has a fondness for keeping trophies in his dungeons. But with all due respect, you're not the main guest of these parts. Humans are amazing creatures. How swiftly they abandon old gods and their priests in favor of new ones. They reduce them to the level of demons, filling their hearts with disdain and fear for them. Since you're here, I believe you should pay a visit to your cellmate. Since the dome was erected, she hasn't had many visitors. Show a gesture of compassion. I assume if I miss a reaction, it just starts over or something. I don't want to find out if I can help it. I probably will find out eventually. But bring them. Three. Three shall become one. The path will open to the heavens. Okay. in white rocks there is an area to the right of the lowest memory crystal Just treasure chest, come on. Ah, there's something up here. Maybe. I'm landing on something, I think, that's letting me jump more. Not that the, the fairy even appeared when I was here. But maybe this isn't actually a secret. No, it goes upwards. Make sure the fairy didn't appear. Oh, uh, maybe I'm not equipped with fairy. Is that it? No, I have the fairy. The lesser spirit points to hiding places. So you're telling me I have to blindly figure out where these platforms are or something? The reason I'm shooting the bombs is I'm trying to see if maybe they'll it'll land on a platform and kind of give me a clue. Here we go. Elias. I visit her sometimes. It's the only thing I can do for her. The kingdom took them from us, Elias. You remember that night when we had to flee to the old witch's forest? Your mother wasn't lucky. The scum from Nether City reached her and did away with her. Just like my mother, the old witch didn't accept her. She banished her from the woods, dooming her to a lonely death. Our mothers sacrificed themselves so that we could find sanctuary. As it turned out, the old witch had her own plans for us. We were pawns in her and the queen's intrigues. We were defenseless against the kingdom. These stones, they call them the black glass, they are our blood and flesh. They give us the power to fix everything, to fulfill our dreams. You've changed, Elias. But you're doing everything right. Follow the call and we'll meet you there, right in the heavens. 
Flower from the grave. And that does what exactly? A silent witness of sorrow symbolizing grief for an irreparable loss. Back in the Dwarf King's treasury. Okay, so missing it does result in the resetting. I thought the first shift was actually the sound effect saying that I succeeded. No, it is, I forgot that there's a hum to it. Ruby key. The gnomes use this key to reach the Ruby Guardian during maintenance work. To prevent any mishaps, they make sure to disable the Ruby Guardian system in the control room before entering. I don't remember a Ruby Guardian. So now we are here on the map in the Witch's Forest. We just made the cross using Air Dash. I show where it is in case people, and un unlike the event playing along, I mean, I always try to be informative and helpful. Not a lot there. I mean, I don't currently have a use for gold, frankly. We are back in the dead forest. And maybe I really should try to defeat that boss before we continue to explore more stuff. jump down that. How would you normally get there? Do I bust it with the bomb? I bounce it? No, it just stops there. Yeah, I don't think that's it. And there's nothing I can do here. I can't jump down it. I see.
Ooh, this is quite the the maze or labyrinth here. Pressing up on it to try to end it. Oh, well, this does not look good. We're gonna hold off on that one. <laughs> one boss at a time, okay? missing a lever that I haven't pulled somewhere. I mean, that one, obviously, but I'll need a butterfly pile for that, I assume. Ah, here we go. This should be it. That was horribly timed. Thing is, I never found whatever this fairy was alluding to. I take a look at the map. We have covered the whole area, but we there is a secret somewhere here. Come on. I see it. We can just get back up there. switch. What a wondrous creature has found my hiding place. A child of the kingdom and seemingly of dreams. Men are strictly forbidden to enter here. In the past, my sisters would have torn you apart, but now they have changed. They succumb to heavenly temptation. Some simply perish in their struggle against celestial beings. And some, like me, found refuge and hide until fate catches up with them. It is our punishment for the sins of our mothers. The heavens decided to take what is theirs. The mothers betrayed the heavenly temple and turned their gaze to the earth. The forest gladly welcomed them, shielding them from danger. But now even the forest cannot help us. I am grateful to you for alleviating my loneliness. It has been a long time since I have spoken with a man. After all, I am myself from Nether City. I propose a game to you. We could all use a little amusement. Sure. And you are a darling gambler, just like my beloved. I hope that's where the similarity ends, as this beloved of mine accused me of sorcery. But I managed to escape the clutches of those wretched men, who were already preparing a pyre for me. I fled into the forest and found refuge here. As it turns out, my beloved was not entirely wrong. Now, I know the art of sorcery. Perhaps he was also right about one more thing. He believed that somewhere in Nether City a treasure is hidden. He kept repeating, sword, pentacle, wand, cup. But he never managed to solve this riddle. Perhaps you will succeed. Okay. 
The only thing I could think of that was remotely similar to that is the combination lock where we had the the dead man's note, which talked about the garden and stuff. Should I fight that witch? I mean, I guess since we are here, it, I wish it would just send me back to a crystal. All right. Oh, it's not a battle after all. Have you come to see my mom? There's only me and my dolls here. I used to have many friends and we had fun together. And before bedtime, the trees would lull me to sleep, telling me fairy tales. Sometimes they whispered special tales to me. When mommy found out about it. She got angry and killed all the trees around. That's why I can't let you go to her. Otherwise, she will get angry and kill you. Flower from the grave. This flower it smells of sadness. It reminded me of what the trees used to whisper. The trees whispered to me that mommy did something bad. You can go with her. I feel that mommy is ready to welcome you. I close my eyes and I hear the whispers of the trees. Those bedtime stories. Beyond this forest, there stands a city where I will never be able to go. Is there anything here? No, it doesn't look like it. It's just it's just like battle area. Which way I should go? Up, up right or down right? This will try down right first. Okay, thanks, game. There's nothing over here. Jeez, okay, now I have, I'm sure I have to go back in that direction because I bet the door is down. And I have no nectar left, so this will be interesting. Just want a crystal. Let me just run through this area real quick. Nectar, that'll do too.
Nope. I thought that was a hill. Not a not a backdrop. Um, I know I'm zigzagging. All right, we'll give this one shot. And then we'll go back and fight the tombstone boss. I know I didn't end up using any nectar, but I did give it an actual effort. Let's go ahead and teleport and fight that one boss since we have put her off. There is still this puzzle key here, but let's go ahead and fight the boss. I was expecting these puzzle keys to be this tiny little area where I unlock a power up, like missile launcher. I know there's not going to be a missile launcher. Just, just say it. Like that's how you would do it in something like an actual Metroid game is you'd find a new artifact. So you run back and collect all the things so that you get more power ups. Let's do this. Okay, that one's really easy. Okay, you can't dodge through it, which is fine. I'm surprised that the game lets me dodge through as much stuff as it does. Okay, this is new because I don't remember that sound effect. Vortex of Shards. Acquire all the spells. Thanks, <laughs> All right, well, whatever. Let's try visiting the merchant here and see if they can upgrade this spell. It's not exactly a spell I would probably use in battle. Definitely not an offensive-oriented spell. Can you upgrade this one? Yes, you can. Crystal Vortex. Upgrade all the spells. Well, the upgraded format is just an extra star. Instead of four, it's five. But it doesn't go any further. So this may not have been the thing I needed to hit the plaque. Okay. 
So I'd, I had cast this spell before leaving the crystal in this region, just so I could have full mana, and then I saw the little tiny gnomes like, nope, I can't do this. I didn't want to kill them, so I ran back and dispelled my magic. It does not look like it reaches this at all. So it's probably... Oh, do I, like, pitch a bomb into that tube? Don't tell me it's something like that. Oh, jeez, game. Like, as a real-world mechanic thing, sure, but nowhere else in this game has ever been anything like that. You wouldn't expect that to be anything more than detail. Is this also a pit? No. Okay. We have four of five chess pieces. Apparently, Leopold is on the other side of that door. What's up, dude? Is this the giant worm dude now? You know, this is probably the first boss that doesn't have a crystal right next to him, too. Which means I'm gonna have to... I mean, it's not a very far trip, but that's gonna be a little annoying. Okay, we'll hold off on him for a little bit. We're still looking around to try to find power-ups. He is right here. This is his room. Here, where else is there to cover? Or did I, have I already covered everything? Here's a puzzle key door at this elevator that I haven't checked out. Now, the fairy was here when I entered. I'm hoping it's not just pointing me to this puzzle key door. Okay, let's head back, and the fairy is gone. Okay. Red thread. And the red thread does what? So I thought I had a red thread because we were looking at the blue thread earlier. So now that I have two red thread, I should be able to recover both nectar when I touch the crystal. Cool. Okay, apparently there was a passage there. And this must be the thing she was talking about. Let's take a look at my notes. Which is secret? Sword, pentacle, wand, cup. I guess this is a pentacle? Wand. Cup. I can't get that frightened boy in the forest cabin out of my head. How did we manage to get so deep into the forest at all, without being torn apart by the witches? We all understood that this boy was the only way to end this nightmare. The queen went mad with grief, losing her husband and daughter. She demanded by any means to find the kidnapper. Moreover, Nether City was buzzing, demanding the blood of Demon Spawn. So there, in that cabin, I just stood and watched, unable to utter a word. 
Later, I left the order. I tossed my knightly armor into the foul waters of the sewer. Can those who still wear the armor be called knights? Knight to the end. We are back in the deep. We're going to go fight that boss. We get Knight to the end increases attack power. So the question is, do I want increased attack power or increased attack speed? I'm not sure what would be mathematically more sound. I guess we could try finding one enemy to fight. Oh, there's not a whole lot in the deep. We're just going to go with the setup first and see. So close. Let me go back and get some health real fast. I don't have the fairy equipped right now, so I should have. Traveler in this part of the cave. Perhaps it's for the best. You give the impression of someone who's not afraid of dangers. I want to ask you for a favor. You see, many gnomes are not satisfied with the rule of the Mountain King, but they can only shout their grievances in the square. I, on the other hand, want to personally convey the will of the gnome people to our king. All entrances to the castle are sealed except one, but it is guarded by the Ruby Guardian. Help me infiltrate the castle, and you will be providing an invaluable service to the gnome people. To open the gates, you will need a ruby key, but they were all confiscated by order of the Mountain King. I shouldn't be telling this to a stranger, but the Mountain King keeps all his trophies in this treasury. Well, duh. Also, I thought it was the Mountain King that was killed when you are taking the elevator down to the deep, but apparently that's just some guard. Your task is to open the gates and disable the Ruby Guardian with something strong enough to destroy it. I don't know what that means. You must make your way to the Ruby Guardian and disable it with something strong enough to destroy it. Okay. Does it mean I attack it? Is that is that what it means by disable it? <laughs> Let's actually head back to fight that earlier hag. Where is she? She's over here. Let's fight that hag. 
this is possibly heading to a whole nother area. I don't want to have so many different areas unlocked. I just want to do a couple at a time. Inspirations. Um, I don't even remember what this hag did. Why don't we use Kingdom Shell, increases defense and extends invulnerability. Good luck, Flo. Oh, right. Okay. Am I supposed to be doing something? Mommy. Mommy, please stop. What? <laughs> Not me. I didn't do it. She was like that when I got here. Old treaty. Take a look at this old treaty. An old dry branch broken in half. Blood is visible at the fracture points. An ancient pact between witches and spirit of the forest has lost its power. Okay, we'll take this to the giant dude that was speaking earlier. Have we been in this region? No. Okay. We'll go up first and then we'll map what's below. I guess we're going down after those coins! Okay. Right.
We are here in case you are wondering where to find the Spirit Guardian again. Contract terminated. We are free now. It belongs to the witch. Give it to you. Shard of the Seal. Oh, so I guess the, the third shard is then from the Gnome King. Round two. This time I've loaded with the attack inspirations. Only once. I don't know if that was just screen shake from my spell or screen shake because it actually did something. But I don't have any more mana, so I guess we're just waiting. Okay, it's definitely the bomb. Generally, the game expects you to use magic, they give you the ether butterflies to restore your mana as you fight. I might be missing something here. Thank you, Traveler. The Gnome people are deeply grateful to you. I will continue on my own from here. I need to speak with the Mountain King. I'm certain he lacks the support of the Gnome people. Very well, Traveler. The confusion thing. Uh, pressing to the right makes you go left, so it's inverted controls. And I bet he's fully healthy now. I knew the lava was bad for me. I was hoping it would go away by the time I charged forward. It's fine. We have some dungeon exploring inspirations now. Such as... Insightful Spirit. I did kind of like increases defense. But we'll go with... Sometimes killed enemies leave life. Increased luck flow. We have room for one more. We'll go for our decreased damage from pits and spikes. Probably not lava, but it's still something. And we're back. You guys are really annoying. a wall.
I was just delaying it because I'm trying to land on this platform. There we go. Whoops. In my rush, I just dived headfirst into the saw blade. Go ahead and top ourselves off, even though it's just one piece of hit point. Fairy told me that there's a interest something interesting around here somewhere. Is. I didn't get it yet. Was not an optional secret area or something? them both stacked up on each other I can nice
Why did I not pick up the nectar when I ran over it? trying to do, but okay. There's still another area I haven't checked out yet. This is just the treasure room. This room we go. Let's see what's over here. That is, looks like the other side of that room. One direction only. I'm assuming I'm going to find a merchant real soon here, because you're giving me all this gold. Nope, I thought this was the merchant room. So this is at the very beginning of the area. This is the chasm I could not jump. I've got to probably make the long run all the way back to the boss room. This place is not forgiving when it comes to where crystals are located. As long as you don't touch a memory crystal, enemies should stay dead. In general. Certain enemies seem to respawn, such as these. Maybe the snake things from earlier. In the current version of the game, this is the last instance of Leopold. An achievement that requires his presence is that you buy 10 vials of nectar from him. I wasn't exactly being stingy with buying nectars. It's just that whenever I die to a boss, I get new nectars as a result of my red thread. Investing in the future, purchase 10 nectars from Leopold. Gnome kings are never as short as the gnomes they lead. Meet all three sovereigns. Why is the camera panning so far to the left? This is my first encounter with him, so I don't actually know his moves that. Are these bad or good?
What? I don't know what that giant ting sound is. Does this cover? No, it does not cover. I don't, I don't know what this is for. And it's not something, it doesn't look like something I'm allowed to jump on top of either. Finger forward means he's throwing rocks at me. No, but not necessarily, I suppose. What is this for? Oh, I can jump on it. I just wasn't jumping high enough before. new there's still pommel you might as well make it the loot from the treasury then just why 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 mess with the crystal pommel business it seems there will be no audience today the heart of the caves is heavy with sorrow our king has fallen by the hands of a stranger whom i myself brought to him how could i not recognize the evil intent you are neither gnome nor human. Not even the forest would give birth to such as you. Whoever you may be, get out of the castle. Now there's no return home for me either. My only option is to turn into stone in the deepest of the caves. Yeah, I got gnome's friend. I didn't kill a single one. I'm your friend. Back in the treasury. I'm missing a chess piece. More than likely, it's somewhere I've already been. There's always a possibility that it's behind whatever I need for these three shards. In this area, the little pixie comes out. We are above the ghost well. Here's the cabin with the memory tower. This leads somewhere. I just need to figure out where it's trying to let... There we go. I was mashing jump and left earlier. And that'd be the last chess piece. All right, let's head over to the dude. He's at the entrance of White Rock and Top City. go left from here, we should see him. You have all the chess pieces now. Shall we play? Just a heads up, the game will be challenging. Sir? This is not a game. 
I thought we were actually going to play something like a mini game of chess. Wow, okay, I was not ready for that. I know he said challenging, but I, I, I thought it was just going to be some mini game because the game, th this game already did the, the flight simulator kind of thing. So I figured, oh, well, nothing's off limits then, is it? Round two. I didn't really get a good look at you. Because <laughs> I was completely caught off guard. I still haven't observed his attack pattern yet. And he does so much damage. Wow, he's not kidding when it's... Okay. Round three. Let's do this. is lame that he will hit me when he's diving away after I'm hitting him in the back. Keep getting hit by that. I'm not doing something right. Well, maybe I should try rolling. Will you stop headbutting me like this? So close. He was right about to hit me. But I banked on it. Gnome token. You should be honored it took me three tries to defeat you. Turn in that gnome token. What makes you come to me again and again? You, like that young man. Did I already tell you that you resemble him? Well, this young man pestered me for a long time until I agreed to work. It seemed that the young man had a powerful patron, as he wasn't even discouraged by the price. Just like you, my lad. I'm babbling again. Let's see what we can do with your pendant. Working with Black Glass involves special risks, so I ask for a special fee. I don't know what it means by perception has been increased. Alright, so I am only missing at this time. If we take a look at inspiration, I am missing this one. But I have level 4. If I can't scroll to the right with 
this cursor thing, but I only need one more gnomish token, it looks like. Well, let's let's actually see what he needs. If he only needs gold, we've got this, but I, I bet he needs a gnomish token. Our work is coming to an end. Only one detail remains. Do you really know the nature of black glass? The environment, thoughts, emotions, reflect on its facets, remain in the gem's memory, and gives rise to images. In a remarkable way, you are connected to the pendant, and I can strengthen this connection, making the gem stronger. Yeah, we need another gnome token. So I'm missing a gnome token and one inspiration. We are returning to the prison with the three shard. I don't know if this is a bonus area or this is the requirement to bring them here, but she does ask for something three. I kind of assumed that maybe I was supposed to bring the three shards to the obelisk on the top of White Rock. Let's see if anything happens. Use the shard and seal, absolute power. We got Sovereign's seal. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to take the Sovereign Seal to the Obelisk then. Let's take a look at my inventory. Activates the ancient mechanism on top of white rocks. Cast from an unknown metal with a hemisphere of black glass, this item is older than the kingdom itself. It was used by the High Priestess in the gate opening ceremony. Once you get the Priestess Secret in Top City, in White Rock, in this region, this is the last one. And the Herald shall proclaim the beginning of the pilgrimage, others' memories, and master of rumors. The great city guided the Chosen to our temple, willing to offer their dreams as a gift. We directed the finest among them down a path, at its end, the Dream Tower bestowing rewards for their offerings. O oh, Great Tower, your generosity knows no bounds. We forsook the gift of birth, in exchange embracing your bestowal of eternal life. And devoted, we dedicate ourselves to serving you. Got the inspiration, Halls of Moon. Let's go and take a look at that while we have your attention. Accelerates Ether Recovery. Okay. Alright. What, really, what we really need is the, the last Gnomish coin. I think then we'll have 100% of the game. I do think that the game needs a little bit more balance in terms of the ability to equip your inspirations. All right, let's take this Sovereign Seal in. Use the Sovereign Seal. Seems you forgot to bid farewell to your friend. Well, that's it. Looks like our paths diverge here. The entrance to the tower is strictly forbidden to me. It has been an enthralling adventure. I even managed to become a little attached to you, as far as it is possible for a wandering deity. Take care of yourself. Who knows what awaits you within this tower? Farewell, Elias. Elias? You did great. You managed to unlock the passage to the Tower of Dreams. Just a little more left and our dreams will come true. Let's run. Don't you hear it? The Room of Wonders is calling us. Catch up! Dream Tower. I tried jumping, not... Oh, is this actually... Oh, it actually is. Is this... Yeah, that's a bit. Jamming music. Okay, thanks, game.
I wanted to see if that thing was something I could run into. Brother, you could have helped me clear some of this. Almost dead already. I don't even know what I was supposed to do there. Arr, okay, well. At least I have a decent idea of what to expect at this point. Let's go inspiration. Okay, we already have increased defense and vulnerability. Let's go and remove accurate hit. And get reduces damage from pits and spite. I, I didn't know we were going to another area. I thought this was a the big, big battle. So what else we got? Luck, uh, probably insightful spirit then. Make sure there's no secrets that we're missing. Okay. did it so easily the first time. <laughs> Why can't I do it again? I think it's because I'm deliberately trying to control myself uh, rather than just going with the flow. And since I'm controlling myself, I'm not... Because I, I don't want to do the double jump yet. Because I think I need that for the, the last part. I think I just did my double jump, though. I just did it again. There's my double jump. Yeah. I gotta control myself. go. I wanted to kill him so he wouldn't distract me while I'm doing these things there.
Why was this side flickering? Could I have possibly come from that side? I don't think I could have. Probably just as well, because I ended up using my dash already. Like, I could have I could have tried to save myself by using my double jump, but I figure I'll probably need it th towards the end. Yeah, there. See, I needed that. Ooh, that was close. No boss, no boss, no whammy, no whammy. I just ate so much damage doing that. I probably not can make this one. Wow. Just trying to land on the little platform there. That already took up all my life. <laughs> Weak. No! Come on, I was mashing- I, I swear I was mashing the dodge button so I could do my air dash. I think there was some sort of massive delay after I did my dodge roll into the pit. Now that I get flustered, I'm gonna get hit for a little while. I couldn't have done that the first time.
Looks like this is the last floor. Elias, finally. It's been a long journey. When they captured you in our cabin in the forest, I vowed to find you. That old man from the temple. He struck a deal with him. I had to destroy the kingdom shell in exchange for your freedom. He showed me how to do it. Do you remember the stones that our mothers hid from our prying eyes? They affect us, Elias. They give us incredible power. But they disappeared when we fled from Nether City. I managed to find our stones in the gnome's caves that, with some pathetic creature that trades all sorts of junk. Amidst that junk was a true treasure. Our treasure. That stone gave me the power to destroy the shell, and now we're here in the Room of Wonders. Elias, the blood of the sleepers flows in our veins. In the kingdom, we'll always be outsiders. This room is a gateway to the sleepers world. We can escape there from this cursed land. We can truly be free. Free from prejudices and hatred. Free from the kingdom. Let's go home, Elias. Yeah, I accept. I accept. Come on. No. At least let me have your pendant. Elias. Wow, who would have seen this betrayal coming? I apologize for interrupting a family conversation. Ah, this room where any wishes come true. Our ancestors skillfully harnessed its power and founded the Great Kingdom. But their descendants proved unworthy of the magical power. Greed clouded their eyes, and fearing that someone else might make use of the room, they wished to isolate themselves from the outside world. The room granted their wish, and thus Kingdom Shell was born. The shell erected an impenetrable barrier to the rest of the world and to the Tower of Dreams. Fools. I have devoted my entire life to serving the shell. I hated this accursed object, the final creation of the Tower of Dreams. Every day I dreamt of destroying it, but my rebellion failed. I could do nothing more without arousing suspicion. But fate smiled to me, and one day in Nether City, two infants were born in whose veins the blood of a demon flows. Despised, hunted from every corner, both of you were marked by the Tower of Dreams to fulfill a sacred mission. You both have done well. That's my turn. With the sacred hand of the White Temple, I will restore order to the kingdom, and with the magical power of the tower, I will lead it to prosperity. As for you, I promised you freedom, so your wish shall be granted. Is this supposed to be a, the old man? Because I thought it was a chick all this time, so I've been voicing it as a chick. Also, I, my brother should be fine. I mean, he can respawn, right? He's more powerful than me. Hey. Nope, mine does not nullify it. I'm just wondering what the use of this spell is, because it seems so worthless. Well, that, that, I did not do well at all with that one. But as you know, I generally try to observe first. We need to actually equip our inspirations. So we're not going to need that. That. Grants a critical hit chance.
I was gonna roll, but it got hit before that happened. Now, if you're wondering why I don't spam this all the time, is I'm really just using it when my bar is full or near full. Because I plan on spamming it when the enemy is nearly dead. To minimize how much damage I'm taking when they're in overdrive mode. You're not the only one with overdrive. Damn! The kingdom is doomed. Damn you, demon. Kitty! No! What are you? No, Elias! Child, we have been waiting for you. We are the sleepers. We sleep, and we see dreams. Many years ago, the inhabitants of the kingdom bestowed upon us beautiful dreams. Dreams of a wondrous city, magnificent palaces, and exquisite gardens. Those were dreams of prosperity and universal harmony. We were happy. In gratitude, we granted them everything they firmly desired. Objects woven from dreams, possessing magical power to make their dreams even more beautiful. Beautiful dreams. But then something changed. It was a whisper. Initially subtle, it echoed through the halls of the Tower of Dreams. The whisper grew stronger and intertwined into a monotonous hum. Our dreams grew dead. Once beautiful, they turned into nightmares. The cry was already echoing everywhere. A cry of despair and suffering. Their gravity turned into hatred. They erected a wall of fear. The kingdom became unattainable for us. This cry, it became unbearable. And then we awoke. Oh child, born of the union between an earthly one and a beautiful dream, you've always walked between two worlds. We called you, and you answered our summons. Finally, fulfill what we ask of you. We can no longer exist in this world. You must close the gates. Yet, your human essence obstructs this task. Rid yourself of it. Rid yourself of your desires. Child, forgive us for asking so much. 
What? I mean, this was me agreeing to it, but okay. I guess the game's just gonna... <laughs> it, it, there, I mean, it's fine. I mean, I stayed still both to observe and to be like, I agree, let's do it. Mostly because I want to be contrarian and see what happens, but nothing actually happens. It's just a boss battle with a normal game over response. Is not hurting her at all. Okay, I don't like. I don't like that. But it's manageable if I stand there. Repeat this cycle. Just need to be careful. Wanted to wait until all the spikes have disappeared. Okay, at least the little squares don't hurt. Just the explosions obviously would. Thanks, gang. At least I kind of understand her attack now. I think. Let's take a look at my inspiration. So we got anything else. She does so much damage. I don't know I don't know how much damage she'd do without this one. Unless it just doesn't protect me at all. I don't think there's anything for me to pick. He's not as difficult as the chess master, I don't think. It's just an endurance round. And a bunch of random attacks. Right, I need to get to that platform earlier. Seems the one staying on the right of the center is easier than staying on the left. Oh, come on.
I'm gonna get her before she closes up. This is her third attack, and I assume she seals up afterwards. Yep. Let's go home, Elias. There's nowhere left to retreat. I'll face death as a knight, as a defender of the kingdom. Weak. It would have meant more if he actually sacrificed himself. But I knew the game wasn't going to do that. What just happened? Because it wants to show you the ramifications of you saving the world. Forgive me, brother. I have no more strength to fight. It seems we'll meet again soon. What? Could it be over? Do you hear, brother? We managed to protect the kingdom! Brother! What do we do now? Don't worry, my little blossom. These creatures won't stand against their love. Glimmering dust. All that's left of the Tower of Dreams. At last, the kingdom's inhabitants have gained freedom from the magical grip of the tower, from unjust rulers, and from their own nightmares. But have they truly freed themselves from their prejudices? Who among them will remember the youth who bestowed this liberty upon them? Hmm. There's nothing more for me here. It's time to journey onward. Farewell, kingdom. Complete the game. I didn't get the last gnome coin. I I I I figured I didn't miss it somewhere because I don't know. And I'm assuming the third bunny was the white bunny, not another black bunny that I didn't see. Because the the gnome coins, aside from the the giant lock that I brute forced have been pretty much in your path. Same with the bunnies, the dark bunnies. So th those are two things I might have missed. Well, okay, no. I did miss a gnome coin, I just don't know where it is.
I don't normally try to play a game to completion when I'm just demoing it out, but this one I did enjoy the flow of. The story, not so much, but the gameplay... It just drops me to the main menu. So no necessary post map completion 99%. <laughs> Took me about 10 hours to do this. I don't know how much of it you will see. We I don't think it gave me a gnome coin or anything at the end. So somewhere I've missed a secret room. So I'm gonna have to kind of comb through the region. And it might be somewhat it might it might be just be one I've already know is a room that I for some reason put off and thought I could return with a, a future traversal upgrade. But I'm gonna have to find it. In the hand tower, where the they're chasing after you from below, the, the fairy has come out to play. And then you figure out what she feels is a secret. Okay. I mean, sure. It didn't look different. I don't think it did. I just heard the sound. I got the glass prism. I just need to remember where to use this. Yes, this is it. Kind of figured. We are here on the map. This is Top City. And here's the bridge where you fight the chess master. It is below the the hand tower. Use the glass prism. Are they okay, well. Sun, star, moon. No? Sun rises in the east. Okay, that makes sense. Put the sun on the right side. Put the star above and the moon on the lowest. So swap the sun and the moon. I really did. Obviously, I didn't really read it. I just tried to pick out the important parts. Gnome token. There we go. Shazam! Jeweler's Craft, fully upgrade the black glass pendant. All right, back in the master treasury. This down here in the gnome caves, the fairy said that there's a secret. Green shakes when even when the bomb lands. Oh, I see. I see something. Interesting. There's a little nook to the left. I don't think I can get there. Oh, wow. I managed to grab a lat. Okay. Wooden toy. Before we turn it into her, let's read it. A simple wooden toy, very popular in Nether City. It's unclear how it ended up in the gnomes' caves. Restless spirit. Comfort the little spirit in the gnome's caves. I tried jumping down this earlier. In fact, I'll include footage of that, even though I was not originally going to. And there's the, the hair I was looking for. 
Thank you for helping me escape from the cage. Searching for new ingredients for the nectar is always risky. Come to the hair shop in the forest. I'm sure you'll find items that will significantly ease your journey. Yeah, I don't think so. Family reunion. Find all the black hairs. Empty flask. Ancient herbs. Nectar replenishes ether. Collect all the items. Buy all items in shops. Back here in the old witch's forest, the fairy tells me I'm missing something here. Actually familiar with the water mechanics of the game, but all right. In this area of the old witch's forest, the fairy pops out again. Dusk power. Collect all the leaves of sunset. Teleporting to top city. To the left. Down and to the right, we'll find a secret passage. Yes, I am combing through the entire map a second time around. Well, actually, probably more of a third time around in case I missed any. With the little fairy to find any of the missing treasures. Hit that from here? Probably not. Oh, okay. I need to get this out of here. This has to be a life one. Okay. I think I already hit. I think I already had hit that one. I, I think I just disabled my platform. Okay. Yeah. Let me get the platform back. Not the smoothest way, but it definitely shows you how to do that. We get the life max increase, dawn power, and perfectionist. All items, inspiration, spells, and leaves. Explore, discover the entire map. There's only one thing I'm missing, I think. Let's see if Jeweler has anything new to say. Black glass is a dangerous thing. Who knows what thoughts are lurking inside? A daring soul who dares to address their wishes to the gem must be sure of their intentions. And if luck should smile upon them, the gem will grant their wish, forever silencing itself. Your gem is just one of the two fragments of a whole gem that has already granted someone's wish, yet somehow it continues to serve you. The second shard, it continues to serve that other young man. The kingdom is going through challenging times. Be cautious, my boy. By the way, all those gnomes we've been leaving behind, they have now turned into this creature, which is what you find in the Deep Gnome Castle. They're the ones that confuse you. I don't know what would have happened if you had killed the gnomes beforehand. Maybe they would have never been this. Killing them now doesn't matter. They'll still respawn when you touch a crystal. Enemies possessed by evil could indeed transform into something different looking. 
We are strangers in this forest, and we always have been. The forest sheltered us, and we repaid it with suffering. Thank you for guiding me on what to do. I have made up my mind. It's the only thing I can do. I believe that everything can still be saved. Farewell. Achievement! Old Tale! That is the last one. Once upon a time, in a distant kingdom, there lived a queen. The queen was beautiful and expecting a child. Her husband, the king, was a notorious womanizer. His heart was captivated by the beauty of a young baroness. Learning about this, the queen became furious. She sought the help of a witch who lived in the forest. The queen asked the witch to punish the baroness. The witch agreed, but on the condition that the queen would give her the most precious thing she possessed. Take whatever you desire, for their kingdom is filled with riches, replied the queen. The witch then gave her a magical potion, instructing that the king must drink it. The queen commanded the baroness's maid to secretly administer the potion to the king when he arrived. The kingdom's streets were filled with music as everyone celebrated the birth of the princess. The newborn child slept in her crib, while the queen rested in her chamber after the childbirth. The king, filled with joy, went to the baroness. The baroness's maid, remembering the queen's command, added the potion to the wine and offered it to the king. The potion drugged the king. In a fit of madness, the king killed the young lover and then, realizing the gravity of his actions, took his own life. As the young princess peacefully slept in her crib, the witch appeared in the bedroom. The pact was fulfilled. The baroness was punished and the witch obtained the most precious thing the queen possessed. Wow, we finally got the whole story of what actually has been going on. We still don't even know our brother's name or who was ripping our character's face saying, I'm waiting for you. Was that supposed to be the Tower of Dreams talking to you at that time? I don't know. But we've done it. I can now title this video 100% Walkthrough, and I'm going to put chapters all over the place so that people can find what they're looking for, such as every single flower of this, because that's an achievement to get all the life ups and the mana ups and everything. Thank you very much for watching Tran Wins Kingdom Shell. And thank you for your patience if you've been waiting all week for an upload. I'll see you next time.